What is going down, everyone? It is time for the episode 300. Yes, this is Hype episode 300, and we're going to celebrate all the best moments of the hype. We're going to have some celebrity cameos that are ripping on us, doing a little roasting. If you want to roast us, feel free to jump in on some of our comments or on our Facebook group. Uh, we're going to do a, a, a giveaway for you guys, for you listeners as well, so stay tuned for that. We And you may want to watch the video version of this because we've got dinosaurs walking around. We've got Mickey's 40s because it's been such a great year that we've got Mickey's 40s in the house. I'm going to crack mine open right now. All four of us have a Mickey's 40, taking it back to when we were 21. Good times the industry, on the, industry's, the show. The industry's been tough, man. You got to... Remember, we cracked open a uh, cheers, cheers. malt liquor. Cheers. Three, three, 300 or 200, we cracked open a uh, Dom bottle. Yeah. Dom uh, Perignon. No, it was a Ace of uh, oh, Ace of Spades. Ace of yeah, spades, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was a little and, bit and more expensive. And now we got Mickey's. Oh, 40, 40 ounce Mickey's. You can get 200 bottles of those uh, compared that, to the one bottle. That right there, though, that tastes like winning. Boy. Right there. Woo! Uh, hazy IPA, that is not. Boy, that is my... Better. Well... Uh, let, let's talk about that <laughs> hazy IPA. This right here, this is so crisp. I mean, it's like... Refreshing. Refreshing. It's like you go out for a run, you come in, you crack open a, <laughs> a nice... 40 ounce after you know, a run huh? after a run yeah i'm sure that's what doug plagans is doing after his run yeah i mean if cracks right, open a mickey's a 40 a 40 of <laughs> not not, not, just, not just a no, not, not a hand grenade a shout 40 out to doug shout out to the doug this and the, is, and the this panthers is, right? this right here yes, this is delicious when it gets to about halfway through not so much and you guys can we have to everybody has to finish theirs in this this may be two hours it may be three hours we don't know we're this gonna see what happens this ain't my first rodeo with the mickeys here i think we'll be all right and i do have a surprise it's a little bit more i wanted to do like 300 ounces well so. i i do have a surprise for you guys later on that front and it's not quite as uh, as cheap as the mickeys this is the uh what do you think this is the retail pack of beers right this is the what would you compare mickeys to if it was a card product Oh man, I don't. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Score retail to any of our wonderful Hoops. brands that we, of course, sell on MojoBreak.com. Don't want to do that. But every, yeah, Hoops I don't. Thing, sure. I don't know. I, this is Hoops. I no. But I. But it's not like Hoops hobby. That's Hoops hobby. No, nah, it's, it's it's a. This is this <laughs> it's is not like a premium a, stock. This is baby. a hanger. It's a hanger pack. Hanger box. Yeah. Hanger pack. Oh, it's a hanger pack. It's a hanger pack. Hanger pack. Hanger box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we have the flaw because you know what? It's all about that value. It is. You get yeah, it does the job. It's it, super value. Exactly. We have the uh, we have the flawless of, of liquor coming up later in the show. Uh, but Cody, give us a rundown of all the excitement we're gonna have on the three hundredth episode. Gonna be a fun one, guys. Uh, if you have been with Mojo Break for a while, uh, I thought this would be a fun treat. Actually, shout out to friend of the show, listener of the show, Doug Plagans, who was saying, shout Man, out to Doug. I would love it. If you guys to drink a 40 with us? Well, <laughs> absolutely. That. And then we can make that happen. We'll make that happen. Panthers are coming to town. Uh, but he's like, I, was, I would love it if you guys did like a top 10 of your best hits of all time. So I compiled it. We went back in the Wayback Machine and looked up some of the biggest hits in Mojo Break history. So we're going to have the top 10 Mojo Break hits in history. We're going to obviously talk about the big, big news. We had to interrupt 300 episode with... One of the biggest stories we – probably the biggest story of the year, I think, in the hobby. Talk about that and kind of reflect on where are we now compared to where we were back in episode 200. Where are we going by the by episode 400? How is this industry going to look? It's crazy to think that episode 200 was only two years ago and how much has changed between now and then. Yep. It feels like eons ago. It does. What uh, these the how the industry looks then and how it looks now. Do you think if I paid for it, Shane would get the Mickey's Hornet tattoo on him? It's possible. I don't even know if you have to pay. I for like that. how I like how uh, Cody was just all serious and Dan's concerned about Oh, yeah. But the, I and then I'm also Mickey's like thing. I'm all does does this 40 make my hands look tiny? Uh, they're big. Are these things my are hands big? are big. Or my 40? hands are bigger than 40. <laughs> no, that's well there's my hand with the 40 right there if everyone's looking. Man, this is uh and yeah. if you're listening to this, we have the 300 balloons. We have dinosaur napkins. We've got hats on yeah. too. And please drink Party responsibly, hats. everybody. We don't please have cookies. Responsibly. Yeah. I think I, cookies. Cookies would have been nice. Anybody ever have cookies and Mickey's? That's disgusting. And maybe dip yeah. it in there. Oh God! Dip I do not like to have dessert. Dip a little oh. chocolate chip cookie in your Ooh. Mickey. Wait, nobody else does that. No dessert with my beer. You're dipping cookies in there? Are you? Are you? You're weird because you don't like that. 
Ugh. Anyway, uh, we're also you know, going to play a, a war- warm it up a little bit. Warm up the cookie. Warm fine. up the beer. <laughs> wow, whoa, whoa. No, What's going on? Now, now, look, I thought I was going to have a stomach ache a couple hours from now. It's already begun. Don't but we, we should ask the we should ask the community on the topic of 40s. If you had to drink a 40, what is your 40 of choice? Assuming that you're of age to do so, because if you're sure. not, you, you don't answer the question. Yes. But if you're of age to drink a 40, what is your 40 of choice? Oh, English. There's not a ton of options. It's no, just probably not. Not. I mean, you have it. I, I mean, I think you have Budweiser. Doesn't Budweiser have a uh, yes? Okay, and then yeah. and then Miller, but not Mil- Bud Light. Oh, not Bud Light, but Miller Miller Highlight. I don't know if it's considered that's two a, ounces. I don't know if it's considered a forty. Oh, Thirty two. But right. the big giant cans of Foster's beer, the Australian. That's not beer. a forty. It's not a forty. It, I think it's, it's like a. It's like something like a twenty eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's like it's, a, if you get two of them, which is they always have that two two for deal. That's usually what Foster's. It is. You know what they say about that? It's Australian right? for beer. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah Oe <laughs> Colt forty five. Um, Country Club. Uh, uh, Steel Reserve two eleven. Uh, Bud Light does come in that. Uh, yeah, Steel Reserve two eleven. We could have. I mean, actually, time. you know, that's probably more the hoops. This might be like the score. Which one, Steel Reserve? Steel Reserve is a little is a little bit of a. Is there rate, anything right? that is not like a malt beer? Like, is there like a fla- like a like a White Claw equivalent forty for oh, loco sure for loco? Oh, I don't think it's forty ounces. Though, it's not. It's twenty. Oh, there's Cobra too, King Cobra. But is there um, anything like flavored stuff. like? Four locos, like water, frightening. watermelon, wa- watermelon flavored. Or, no, you just got to drink a couple flavored. of them. I, I feel like I'm having flashbacks right now. I just my life flashed before my eyes when he said four locos. It was a scary time. It was beginning of college. Did you have for a me. problem with four it, locos? It was a scary time. <laughs> Nights got real long, real fast with four locos. So. This kind of brings me back to uh, going to the Capitol Drive-in. Oh and man, just, just dr- like bring it, bring it, bring a forty, man. Watching a little double feature. Double feature. And you know what? The best, if you really were brave, summertime, you could do a triple feature. You could watch till like three in the morning. Yeah. Really, really felt up to How it. How many 40s best. you have then? Uh, too many. <laughs> Way too many. But Wait. hey, also got to mention, we're going to do a guess that price. Comparing <laughs> prices from our 200th episode to right now. Oh, I love it. Uh, plus, I we're going to have more. You mentioned the cameos and uh, reminiscing about the show. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm just yeah. here to drink. We're going to go through some of the old topics, too, like. Uh, throughout the years that we talked about that maybe aren't even relevant anymore. Um, I think that'll be fun to discuss those as well, and uh, it's going to be a fun show. You guys will be able to see in real time how we cut up the show, but you'll be able to tell the difference in the bottles. <laughs> like, wait a minute, that's the beginning of the show? The bottle's empty. <laughs> I'm thirsty. That's the magic of the Man, I, chug, chug. I actually got to say, this is delicious. I don't, I don't, I can't remember the last time I had a Mickey's. This is an I, underrated, I, I, I this either. is an underrated beer. Yeah. This is an underrated beer. Now, uh, is it better in a 40 or better in a grenade? Oh, the hand grenade. The hand grenade's okay. But that really wouldn't work for the optics of the show. We're just all slamming down hand grenades. <laughs> all right. It's time for some of our biggest hits at mojobreak.com. Get in a break if you haven't. Uh, we're on the Fanatics Live app as well. But these are our biggest hits of all time. We're going to start from 10 through 6. Oh, my God. We hit it. We hit it. We actually hit it. I swear to God, Ron, we hit it. Boom! 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 Stephen Curry, timeless moments. First off the line out of three. Oh, my God. We hit it. We actually hit it. (laughs) Julio Rodriguez. Ooh, that's a big one. Boom! That's a big one. Gold, yellow, that's a big yellow. Wander Franco! We got it! Look at that! Boom, boom, oh! boom, boom, boom! <laughs> Congratulations to the Tampa Bay Rays! Show! Run Wanna, wanna, oh, 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 if you're wondering why boxes are not are nine thousand dollars, dang. 
Bro, where's my 180 at? Man. I'd hate to make 50000 on a random Saturday <laughs> night <laughs> on September 17th. Oh, my God! Babe Ruth! Woo! Did we break it? <laughs> Show came up! Let's get a big cut here. Okay. Let's get a big cut. Let's go crazy, Shane. How big do you want to get? Oh. Babe Ruth, one of one cut auto shirt came up. Damn. Check out that cut. Boom. Kevin, come down and get your brand new house. Folks have already seen uh, our number five, our number 10 through six, I should say, 10 through six hits of all time. I'm going to run it down for you guys. We had it number 10. Greg hit that uh, Panini one. First off the line, Curry, timeless auto, timeless moments auto. Put that there. It's one of our most watched ones of all of our big hits. Uh, it had the three-point breaking shot on it, so I had to put that one up there. Amazing also, card, yep. Also had to put it up for Bay Area Love as well. Maybe a little biased So at, that that's one. number 10? Number 10 <laughs> of all so, time. So young, young time. Greg, young yeah. Greg, cracking 10. Had to get it, yeah, and of course had to get YG on the list, okay. of course. Uh, at number nine, Joe Staley's Bowman break, uh, where he hit a wander number to 50. He put, hit, a cramp, put a cramp on it. Put a cramp, exactly, yeah. <laughs> you got it. Uh, he hit a Julio we got, we got, we got, we got to have C-Red say that story. Oh yeah, okay. please. <laughs> yes. Tell us the story of the bone of those. I mean, first, well, with the cramp, we got to explain what the cramp was. <laughs> first of all, uh, amazing. That was amazing. Like double case thing was a double case. Yeah, there was right? also a Vlad Junior. Double super case in Bowman. There. Yeah. Yeah. I, that, yeah no, so I, I think I, so I think it was like a the last box like ten case. I think I think we were doing we were doing Bowman all no, day. No, I, well, yeah, we did a lot that day, but I think that particular break was maybe like a three caser, two or three caser. Anyways, last box, last hit, Vladdy Junior. Super Fractor base. And I, I got so excited, especially because Joe Staley was in the house, that I guess maybe I the way I and that might have been your first the, time the, meeting the, him, right? Yeah, one, one of, of the, the first, first times. times. So maybe like the way like I leaned forward on the chair, my knee, my knee like I cut kind of caught, caught a little bit, and I like I felt that cramp instantly pulling that Vladdy super, and then the whole time everybody's jumping around celebrating. I'm like, ah, I got a cramp in my leg, <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then Joe Staley comes in, he's like one of one with a cramp on it. <laughs> <laughs> so, and yeah. you don't see Joe on the video, but you hear him clearly yeah, in the background because yeah. he was just about to leave. That, and, that, yeah. and that capped off like just that break, like you said, like you you were just gonna say we hit a uh, Wander Franco right yep. to to I think was it the fifty? It was a Gold Wander. There was a first Bowman Julio in Julio, there, and then we we caught, topped it off with the freaking Super Fractor of Vladdy Junior when he was a rookie that year. Yeah, that was so. wild. That, that, that was a wild event because it took a while to get to that, like, gold refractor that he hit, too, because it was, like, at the end. Yep. And then I think he was in a walking boot because he was playing. Wasn't he in a walking boot at that time? Oh, that was so, – because oh, yeah, it was, was 2019. Still playing. Yeah, yeah, he was still playing. Oh, yep. he, he definitely was still playing. Yeah. Yeah, so he, I, think, I think that was the time he was in a walking boot because he didn't play half that season because he got hurt early. And then he wound up playing at the <clears> end <throat> of the season and then going into the Super Bowl that year. Um, but, yeah, that was, that, was, that was a wild moment. Yeah, and then we have at number eight. I had to put up, honestly, one of the more surprising ones because C Rad was so surprised. The Justin Herbert, the true RPA that you hit, I think it was last fall when you were throwing it into a mixer for NT football. Uh, the rookie true RPA of Justin Herbert, just like the surprise shock factor too. I think elevates. Was that it the stars the and stripes or just a regular? True it was RPA? just a regular. It was just and a I regular. happened to be here. Yeah, you were here. It yeah. was like a random Saturday night that I was here. Yeah, and then like. 
I jumped in to get the film of the of the box. Yeah, yeah, that was that was a nice one. That was insane. That, that was that was number eight. No, I had a number eight. Wow. Uh, there's some, I think man, you know we have, we have so ones. many videos. I'm sure there's ones that could be above that, but like yeah. it's hey, hard listen, to come through. I understand back then it was like a hundred. Maybe a six-figure card. That see it. that that plays a part in it. It's I put the surprise. Just, he factor. hates Herbert. I don't know why you There's put that. that yeah. So like, well, you me, know, like, and hey, if I'm putting together Herbert? this list, he's like, top, you're not even a hundred top top hundred. Top ten. Look, like, but I get, I get, I get how valuable that card was, and the reaction was, was really, um, was really good on that one. Yeah. But um, yeah, just a little surprising on my end, you know. As, well, it wasn't no like a one buy. It was at well, what was more surprising about it was it was our buyback, remember? So it was like our uh, buyback that we do with cards and then random boxes. It was just it a, random a random box, box in that brand. Yeah. That yeah. one random box of yeah. NT that from to our me, yeah. that, That's what sets it apart is the surprise. On top of it being such a huge card, yeah. the surprise factor on top of that, really, that's why I think I okay. locked it in okay. there. Uh, number seven, the two Babe the not the two, the three Babe Ruth cuts you guys have hit throughout the years. So you combine them Wait, into yeah, one. That, that's yeah. all one. I think, we can, I think we can put that all as <laughs> one. Uh, all the Ruth cuts you guys have hit through the years. I mean, Babe Ruth, I mean, I, I don't think you Not many people can say they've hit three Babe Ruth. The transcendent i mean i didn't really i i just held the camera but then you hit one on your own then i hit one well shane 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 was holding the camera yeah. <laughs> yep folks yeah we had the video of so the first hit, one you hit and the last one that you hit when shane was holding so the camera. we have three yeah but we've technically hit four because we sold a box where oh, somebody hit right. a cut autograph. But he did, he did, he, yeah, he didn't know that one. But yeah, we no, 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 no. I mean, yeah, yeah, but yeah, but yeah, nobody, yeah. nobody. We had that. four in our possession. So it was a five star box that a customer came in back when we were in our little office space, and um, he hit a Babe Ruth. Wow. So four, four technically. Yeah, and you're right, you're right. this might be controversial, but I put number six, and the folks have already seen it or heard it. LeBron logo man. What's Which one? Like LeBron Logo Man. The... Not, not the one where he falls out of the chair. Well, That's see, this is where it. I had to make a decision. Like, does it get into the top, into the top five? I'll be honest. It was between two in the top five. That or the Mac, Mac Jones. And I don't know. You guys can tell me. I want to hear the debate. Because I've hit two LeBron Logo So which one are you talking about? So here? the one where he <laughs> fell out of the chair. The one where he fell out of the chair. That's Number the six. <laughs> Number six. <laughs> of all time. Dude. There's some big ones. Yeah. That yeah. in retrospect. So yeah. that's why. You, so me, you are it, putting. It, you are put like the reaction of reaction the poll was there. and 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 the card itself. Reaction would probably be top one, but maybe number one side. reaction, no doubt or about top, it. Top, whoa, no doubt whoa, about whoa, it. Whoa, 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 top wait, three. wait, wait, wait. First off, first off, with the Mac, the Mac Jones with the security like cam footage, like. Went to Atlantic City. I had I had people coming up to me being like, "Dude, that reaction was amazing." This yeah. is why yeah. I opted top. I I, I don't know. Matt it's tough. Jones. It's like it's like I challenge. I don't know. I, I don't know. my my inner Macaulay Culkin from Home like, Alone. Reaction went, like, wise, I running would, around. I, would, I have a C red hit a little higher than that later on. Okay, though. reaction wise. Dan's reaction is better than the falling out of the chair. I don't but know. but the it's, it's but pretty close. It's, it's close. But like I feel like. And I know at the t- that I, know, I understand flawless NFL shield Mac Jones big, but like first LeBron Lakers actual game used That's Lakers no, logo. No man. doubt, That's no true. doubt the card. I mean, hindsight's twenty twenty. Well, this is why it's good because to bring like, it up because we can when I pulled Mac Jones, he was like next Brady. Hot stuff, yeah. Now, now, now he may not be the next Brady. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and, and this is why we're having this debate. We could have this on the Facebook group, which, by the way, we're going to be doing a free a free break on the uh, community group of uh, of the hype. So make sure you guys look out for that. We're going to do a free break of National Treasures, I think, something like that, uh, for our hype listeners. So figure wow. out how you can get a, a free spot. Nice, in that. nice. Huh? Uh, that was on the fly. So maybe <laughs> the Mickey's help that. that <laughs> yes, well, you know what? I, I love go it because we don't do it live, <laughs> so we can always cut that out. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna do a free break of gold standard from 2015. No, uh, wait. <laughs> no it'll be 2013 absolute um, football. So you have my LeBron logo man at number six. Look, this was a de- this was the hardest decision I made. It, it, and and at one point I had it three. Okay. At one point I had it three, but okay. then I was like, well, this card came up where the reaction wasn't as big, but the card is. I think easily and, 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 top and I, two or three you guys have ever hit. Yeah, and I will tell you that that reaction has been duplicated and mimicked many times over by a lot of other people, a lot of other breakers in the industry. Yeah, there's there's one where I again this is where this man's a pioneer. I, I we'll, also we'll I also think the phrase "product is dead" has also been copied multiple times since has. since the Mac Jones pull. Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah. And I mean, the power of editing on that Mac Jones pool. I mean, if we would have had the security fa- uh, camera back then, see that it was the time could have right? been different. So we, we, we've we've grown into a bigger building. We have more cameras here now. Yeah, so. but he but he fell in his chair. I don't know if he would have. But if we would have had like overhead camera, we might have <laughs> seen him on the floor. I mean, <laughs> you know, laying down like like going into uh, convulsions or something yeah. at that point. It was yeah, it was amazing, amazing pool. Okay, so number six, LeBron. Okay. Hey, you and know then, what? Then we're gonna see what the top five is in a, in a little bit. Yeah. Huh? It, hey, here's the thing. List these top ten lists. I like how we're all. Arbitrary. I like how we're all just attacking Cody. We're like, I'm, 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 dude, I'm, your I'm, list sucks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? No, this is this is great because I want our listeners and maybe some customers of ours who do list as who are also listeners of our podcast. Go ahead and list your guys' top ten polls of ours of all times on our on our Facebook group. Let yes. us know. Yeah, I mean, and, and I'm sure we're missing a bunch. I mean, I don't even think Volpe Super Fractor made. Can it in I there. tell you right now things that that honorable mentions? Yeah, the Volpe Super one hard to find the video, and two, I couldn't. Uh, yeah, it, it, it just. Oh, you know what? Cut. Also, probably didn't make your list is me pulling the Black Trey Young Super Fractor. That did well. not. Or, yes, I mean, the Black Trey Young Prism. Prism, yeah, yeah. That was a big one. That mm-hmm. didn't make the list, and that's uh, like, I mean, it's the biggest one since the Luca hasn't been pulled. Right. I want to. So. I want. I, I want to see what the rest of it is before we go into like what's not there. We want to do the cameos now. Yeah, I think it'd be a good time to get some of this down while we're watching yep, it. Right. I agree. All right, so we're gonna start off. This is mine for Dan. And Dan and I realized, and I found out very quickly at the beginning of this video, we got the same guys. <laughs> you know the hey. funny, and we talked about it yesterday because before we get Step into it, rest. we talked about it yesterday, and I was like, morning, right? I was like, I'm not gonna do the one that obviously Cody is gonna do. So I'm like, I'm gonna think outside the box. So I ended up scrolling through, finding one that I felt that none of you guys would have done, because I thought for sure Cody was gonna do. Joel McHale, which I didn't even know was an option. I I was like, as soon as I saw it, I'm all, I'm all, I'm all, oh, without a doubt. I'm like, because we just got done talking about the soup a couple episodes it's ago. It's one of my favorite shows too. So I used to watch it religiously. <laughs> and, so yeah, and community for that matter. So, well, here we go. Uh, this is the Sklar Brothers. Yo, Dan, what is Yo. up? Sklar Brothers here. Randy on top of Jason. We're in two separate time zones, but we. We call to, uh, we give you this uh, message from Cody this time. Hey now. Podcast co-host, again, we, we are well familiar with your 300th episode. It's marked on our calendars. 300 episodes on a fantastic podcast about card collecting. I mean, come on. You had your first child at 40. This is something we did not know. Hey, Judd Apatow, this is 40. Right yeah, here. It'll be, great. it'll be great. You'll be 58 when they graduate from high school. It'll yeah. Fantastic. I mean... Any longer, and you guys would both be in diapers. So yeah. I'm glad you waited. The shows you got, and and I'm assuming you have patience when it comes to finding that that great like Ricky Henderson rookie card, 1980. Who knows? This would this is what Cody said about you that you love yelling rock and roll when celebrating rock and roll rock and roll when, when celebrating something, even if it has to do with the rap game. Is that right, Jay? Yes. You know, no, nothing more Snoop Dogg than yelling the words rock and roll. Yes, so I'm going to assume that you're white. Um, and then obsessed with the L.A. Rams despite being a San Francisco sports fan. What? Come what? on. That's like saying, hey, I live in Egypt, but I'm a big Israel fan. It does not. I don't wow. get that. I don't I, understand that I'm a, at all. I'm a Seattle native who loves the Portland Timbers. Yeah, you can't say that i'm a boston guy who just loves the yankees i really enjoy watching old detroit lions who are prone to injury try and cart out there and i mean what are you thinking about cooper cup this year i mean he he's injured already are the rams going to be anything i asked you in san francisco are you allowed to watch it anywhere up there just no idea all we have to say is you're a great dude cody loves you we love you we only roast the people that we love and uh, you know, as a San Francisco guy, I'm just hoping you're you're not spending too much time hanging out down in the Tenderloin area. No, it is crazy. And what I love is that Randy and I right now are sort of like a picture in picture kind of a deal. It's almost like the 1983 Topps baseball card. Right. I'm the action shot. Jay's in the circle, and I'm the and I'm the large one up top. Uh, so yep. Dan, you're the best. I love you. Got people coming at you from all angles. Cody this time. Sklar Brothers saying we love you, buddy. Hey, there we go. That was a good one. That's that was good. Nice. That was good. Okay. Wait, who's this one, too? Cody. Oh, boy. Oh, God. All right. Um, 
Okay, I'm not going to say anything, but... All right, let's just see it. Yeah. Hey, Cody, it's your buddy Alex Young from Comedy Central's Roast Battle. And number one rule of roasting is you only roast the ones you love. And your buddies Montre and the rest of the gang that the Sports Card Podcast have so much love for you, but not as much love as you have for living a conflicted-ass lifestyle. What? I got your bio, and it says, like, you're a Niners fan, you're you're a, a Pirates fan, but also at the same time, like, you love Marvel, Disney, Avengers, and... And you're like, you're a man child, baby. Hey, never grow up. All right. Um, so you're also like a, you're part Viking. Pasby. That's like a Viking name. I looked it up. I looked it up. And it actually means a uh, virgin who took his own virginity. How did that happen? Huh? Yeah. You get drunk one night and you're just like, I'm going to make love to myself in all these different ways. No woman needed. <laughs> <laughs> no, your wife is very lucky to have you. I'm telling you, bud. And you found you a Filipina? What? Of course you did. You're in the Bay Area. That's all that's available. And they come after you whiteies like, whoa, okay. Yeah, you were oozing all that Viking energy. Mm, you, you got it all, baby. You got it all. And I'll tell you what, with 300 episodes in, that's a huge accomplishment, man. Like, how do you guys all deal with that much incel energy in the room? Like, were you guys at... January 6th, like, were you guys there just, like, you know, trading cards, too? I mean, it must be, like, a good market over there. <laughs> no, man, but I, I swear to God, it's an honor to be here because you guys are doing really great work over there. 300 episodes, and you guys are comedy fans. And I'll tell you what, if you're ever in town, come to the comedy store. I'll make sure you guys get amazing seats, all right? Hey, nothing but love here, and I'll see you guys around. Peace. Solid. He said he would give us good tickets. Hey, there wonder, we go. Am I, am I going next? No, it's going to be Dan because yeah. he had the same Split guy. As, uh, okay. Splores again. You can do mine last. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I feel like so I I feel, I feel like I'm going to get roasted. Five, five minutes? <laughs> yeah. Damn, I'm going in on me. Yo, what is up, Doug? It's the Sklar Brothers here coming to you by way of your business partner, podcast co-host. And let's just say it. He's a friend, darn it. We're talking about Dan. Congratulations on your 300th episode. Um, I do I do think it is suspect that um, it is you're a huge Barry Bonds fan. Barry uh, Bonds. I mean, I, obviously you're a big Barry Bonds fan because you too like to use your children as human shields. That's right. That and listen, don't get a big head about the fact that you have, have done 300 podcasts. And when I say don't get a big head, I'm of course referring to Barry Bonds. His head was enormous. And then when he, when he got out of the game, his head just shrunk. He's basically like a Beetlejuice at this point. But I well, love that you're... His head was so big, they had to sew two hats together so he could wear one. Yeah, just one. I mean, he he looked like, if you put a regular hat on him, he looked like Albert Bell. I love that you guys, you're, first of all, you're a 49ers fan, Doug, which, I mean, Brock Purdy feels like he's going to come back. And even if he doesn't, right, Jay? They've got Trey Lance. Trey Lance. There's no more proven commodity in the NFL than Trey Lance. That's right. By the way, Jay and I are in two separate time zones. That's how much we care about doing this right now. We're in two separate time zones. Brady bunching the hell out of this thing, Doug. You understand. Look, I love that you, uh, the podcast is about sports, the sports card industry. You know, we did a series called Back on Tops where Jay and I pretended that we were part of the Tops family, that it was a family business. One time Jay and I went into the relic, relic room at the Tops. You guys will love this. At the Tops trading card company in New York. And like, we, do we, whose bat did we see? Roger Merritt? Was it Babe Ruth's bat that we actually... It was it was Babe Ruth's bat. It had nails in it. And then I put on a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's draft day suit. And all the Lakers hated me now. Yeah. So I, cool. I actually wore Robin Yount's jersey around. And I was like, it was amazing. I wore Robin Yount's jersey and Jay wore Tom Seaver's jersey. Actual yeah. jersey. Unbelievable stuff. So I love that you guys do that. And we were big card collectors ourselves. Doug, you're the future stars. You're the, Jay, say it. You're the dick pole of card collecting podcast hosts. Congratulations on 300, buddy. Dan loves you. We love you. Here's to at least 20 more. <laughs> I actually, when I, for the NFC championship game, um, I went to, it was in LA for the Rams, 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 Niners game. I actually went to the comedy store and they were main support at the comedy store. Nice. Wow. So I've actually seen them. They're amazing. They're, they're, I've never they're seen amazing. Like, yeah, the two brothers, how they like play off each other. They play on. All right, check it, C-Rad. All right. Let's see if this works. Oh, man. I'm going to get roasted like that. 
crazy looking lady in 200. Hey, Conrad, how's it going, man? It's your friend Brad Williams here, coming to you on behalf of your co-host and pal, Doug. Wanted to wish you a very big congratulations. 300 episodes of your podcast. It takes a lot to do something 300 times. I don't even know if I've had sex with my wife 300 times. So the fact that you've done anything 300 times besides just masturbate with your wrong hand so it feels like an actual strange human being, um, that's amazing. So well done. Good job on the commitment. Thanks for not choking out Doug for all the annoying stuff that he does. And uh, props to Doug for not choking you out for all the annoying stuff you do. Uh, there's plenty of things that I can make fun of you for, not just having 300 episodes of a podcast, which is a good thing. Uh, you, you are a Raider fan. I'm a Broncos fan. How are the Raiders working out for you? When was the last time you won something? 70s, 80s? You still masturbate to Marcus Allen videos? Uh, how many face tattoos do you have? Priors? Anyway. Uh, so I, I gotta talk shit as a Broncos fan. The fact that we've, uh, won uh, three Super Bowls uh, uh, since uh, you last won one. Yeah, so you know, uh, but no, you're you should be very confident in Jimmy G. I mean, Tom Brady's your new owner, and he's no doubt gonna kick Jimmy G out and go play. So you're gonna have a 47 year old quarterback, despite the fact he's the greatest of all time. He's not in his prime, so uh, enjoy that. I'm sure Patrick Mahomes uh, won't be able to stand up to Brady. Uh, you switch your fandom from the A's to the Dodgers in baseball. Is that just because? So you're in. A, so you're an Oakland fan. Are, are, are you switching because they're moving to Vegas? Are you switching because they they suck and they don't put any money into the team? I mean, they're actually a surprisingly good team. You, you know, you guys invented Moneyball for God's sakes. But uh, you're, you're you're switching the Dodgers. I'm a Dodger fan. Welcome to the bandwagon. But it sounds like you just switch because the Dodgers win and they and they spend money and they care. Which. All right, I get it. Uh, you like Luka Doncic way too much. Your sports fandom is all over the place. Dodger fan, Raider fan, Do Doncic fan. Uh, you're not a Warrior fan. Sounds like you're from the Bay Area. Uh, that 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 seems like a good idea to be a Warriors fan, but you're not. You're a Luka Doncic fan. All right, enjoy that. Uh, you have drank over a thousand energy drinks, so you're really big on commitment. Three hundred episodes of a podcast. And if you drank a thousand energy drinks, you were probably awake for all 300 episodes. You never slept throughout the throughout all that time. Uh, what's something special about you that I can make fun of you for? You have broken over 250 thousand boxes of sports cards live on YouTube. Did that work out for you? Are you rich as hell because you broke some a uh, 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 memory of other people's accomplishments, not your own? That's your own accomplishment. Kind of lame. Kind of sucks. But no matter what. 300 episodes. So you did it. Congratulations. Here's the 300 more. And uh, Godspeed any baseball cards that make it into your house. All right. Be well, Conrad. Be safe. Talk to you later. Bye. That was great, man. That was great. <laughs> so episode 400, somebody's got to get the same cameo again, right? It's like a... Like it, it it is, to... Well, it, here's the thing. My... It's, it's always me getting the same one. <laughs> we all... I, like, I tried to outsmart everybody. I tried to be like, no one's going to get the Come Sklars. Come on. But I did think. Come on, I Cody. Did, I did think. I'm like, if anyone's going to get the Sklars, it'll be Dan. And I, I be, knew be, it. Be a little bit more original hey, here. I tried. I, I even got a, ba I got a backup I, that, one that and it never true. arrived. Co Cody's been doubled up twice on now. I got a backup <laughs> and it never arrived. It might arrive in the next couple days, so we'll see. Well, we're all in sync, right? That's what it is. What if we actually gave the person that you have a compliment now? Just because it is a now, episode, I'm feeling love. Oh, okay. So now we're gonna compliment. Each that other? is yeah, that's kind of that weird, is isn't it? Like, we are okay. not we are not doing hey, that. Uh, that, uh, look, that look, <laughs> one one the ca this? the cameo with the roasting was weird enough, and the fact that the three of us have the same shirt on also <laughs> weird. <laughs> um, <laughs> the fact that three of us and Cody took his party hat off. We all have party no, hats on. Oh, oh no, no, sorry. The uh, the I'm circle, looking, the circle a light, like, the uh, looking a little like Tin Man right over here. Yeah, you know. So yeah, we can't do. It'd be weird. Here, like, no, no, no. Here's what I'll like, do. I'll, I'll start it off by saying this. I'll you do got nice. You got you got nice ears. You got great ears. <laughs> you got great ears, especially because they're hidden right now. Let so. me. Let no, me I say mean, that. well, Cody. Nobody can wear cans like Cody. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that that means a lot. That means a lot. I'll say this. Uh, this is sort of a general thing. I said it on episode uh, two hundred. I mean it. More on episode 300 now that this has been, I was saying at the Nationals, it, it, we just crossed over. This is my third year with the company. I saw, found you guys at a time where I did not know what I was doing. I wanted to find something where I uh, could us have. Us as well. Yeah, well, hey. <laughs> I mean, we're in the same boat. Like we're <laughs> I, I wanted to find something where I could have fun. We could talk sports. Uh, and we could, we could. Have a good time and also, you know, do something that I feel like we were we were building something 
uh, really special. And I genuinely feel like this place, I found this place, found you guys. I found I found my people. I genuinely mean that. So cheers, cheers to you guys. I, I remember. Guys. Cheers. 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 I, I can't cheers, Cody, but, you know. Um, I will say what sold me on your interview, and we're going in the, the way back Wait, machine. Three years ago. Um, Cody sat here, and it was during the the time, the yeah. time that we've talked about before. We don't want to talk about it now, but uh, you came in, and you were <clears> like, <throat> yeah, I do a little bit of everything. I'm like, so, and you're like, yeah, I'm kind of a Swiss Army knife. That was a, I was like, <laughs> Sold. He's a big fan of Swiss. I'm all. I'm all. <laughs> anybody, <laughs> anybody who fan. refers to the themselves as a Swiss Army knife, good in my book. Hey, that man. right there. I'll, I'll also add on top of that, um, especially for longtime listeners. If you guys have been with us from the very beginning, this whole thing is like, we, like before Cody came, we really were just winging it, man. Like we like the audios and and, yeah. and like at one. And if you guys go back, remember when I we first came I here? I wasn't on the screen. Remember when we tried to do the green screen and the audio wasn't <laughs> yeah, working? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. I, I, I wasn't on. The, I went from not being on Fa- the screen. Apologies to the listeners. From being a floating <laughs> head in space, <laughs> <laughs> and then and then I finally got a proper camera with the with the green with the green screen behind me. But the, you know, the audios really got dialed in when Cody came in here, just the visuals and audio. So go go back to uh, episode two, like twenty maybe, <laughs> and you'll you'll just like yo, where is that voice coming from? <laughs> Yeah, there was podcasts where we had like doubled up on it. It was yeah, it was bad. It was it, it, we, you know we figured it out, but like we I think we lost a few of you guys along the way. You know we we led you into battle, and not everybody came back with us. But <laughs> well, I we, we appreciate you guys that stuck with us. I remember because we did we did the podcast just Doug and myself for I don't know four or five years, but it was like inconsistent. We would do like one podcast every week, and then we would go like three months without doing another podcast. And then Doug was like, we're going to do a podcast. We're going to bring it back. We're going to do it weekly. And I'm like, weekly? I'm all, dude, we can't talk about sports cards. I mean, what happens in this industry where we can actually talk about it every single week? And I'm all, in my mind, I'm all, podcasts are dead, bro. <laughs> like, like, that is. Well, that's why we talk that, about food. And, I'm all, that. And, pod, and, and I'm like, food. nobody. I'm like, podcast is done. Like, I'm all, Joe Rogan just going to fade away. No one's going to listen to Joe Rogan. Oh, I don't know if I believe that. No, but like I actually, time, I, guess, I actually did think that like podcasts. I thought it was a fad, mm. and I thought it was just going to fade away, and people were going to move on to the next thing. Now, podcasts actually got even bigger. Yeah, it's, and it's, I wish we can like refer to it as something else because I feel like a podcast has a an Apple attachment to it. Yeah, it is kind of weird that that's. <clears throat> I think an audio chapter. I think what people are. I mean calling it now is new media right because traditional media is dying and, and everybody like most people let just listen to podcasts now for their news for their information for whatever they're yep. interested in so i just wish I, I i only drive like five minutes to get to work so i don't have a lot a lot of time to listen to podcasts anymore so uh, i have to find that time but i'll go to the gym and go for a run and that's where i get my podcast in but i used to be able to like my other job i used to drive for like hours and that's when i would listen to can't, you know, podcasts, i can't so. i can't work out listening to a podcast i can't, i can't, I, I, can't I can walk. I've, I do it half the time. I do I some can. music and I do some podcast. I need to get those juices flowing, man. Yeah, I mean, well, if you if you run with music, you're not really thinking. But then if you run with podcast, you're actually thinking while you're while you're running. So I'm trying to you think know. about running. <laughs> <Let's Yeah. laughs> try well, to. after this forty, I think you're going to do a lot more running. Um, but no, I wanted to say that I appreciate all you guys in this room. I mean, this is uh, this is a big family here at Mojo Break and. Um, you know, putting in all these these hours and every week doing this podcast, and I I know we have fun doing it, but it is, you know, we get on this grind and we do it every day, and, and, and it's been a pleasure working with all you guys here. So just wanted to say that. Cheers, cheers, cheers. You guys got to catch up to me, by the way. What do you mean? I'm I'm doing pretty good over here. I'm, I don't know if I'm ever gonna catch up. To you I'm doing I'm here. doing pretty good. I'm about ready to. I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I didn't eat, man. I'm. I'm feeling it now. Well, we got some. We got some, we got another surprise coming buzz out down city, here. Buzz, buzz, buzz City. Yeah, we might have to grab a meal or. Something That's what it means. That's why they got the Hornets. Buzz City, dude. That's right. All right. So Fanatics, you guys have seen the lawsuit? You know, Panini has. Well, Panini started the lawsuit. Fanatics did a countersuit against Panini, and and you know it's it's probably overall not great for the hobby, um, because you're gonna get more competition. You're gonna get uh, more exclusive signings um, to said companies. And uh, we'll see how this all shakes out, but um, a lot of tweets, a lot of things. It's getting dirty. What do you guys think? Uh, well, lawyers have said that I can. No. <laughs> 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 
Uh, no, I mean, you know, it is what it is. I will say this. Um, we've mentioned his name before on the podcast, but we should definitely mention it again. Paul Lesko, a must follow on Twitter. If you are anything related to hobby law, like any type of lawsuits going on in the hobby, definitely follow Paul Lesko. He was just on Sports Card Nonsense, and he really broke down the uh, both the initial suit and Fanatics counter suit. Uh, it's why it's, do we not have Paul Lesko on our show? By the way, we should <clears throat> let me know. He's gonna call him. Say let's the, go. Say the word. Let's, let's go. make it yeah. happen. Let's, let's go. <laughs> let's go. No, that's let's definitely uh, no. Yeah, I totally agree. He's he's uh, no. Yeah, and we should I mean, what I love about him is that he actually breaks it down with with also not like being too much of a I don't know lawyer in like a dry sense like he like, makes it, like go, he he makes it so like you can understand it. Yeah, plain he, bre- he he breaks it down. Yeah, for layman's terms. I mean, I'm a lawyer. Those but guys, like, those guys, I don't know. I, I those guys get the breaking news, and then we like talk about it two weeks later. I mean, I think we, I don't know, we're busy breaking though. Yeah, I mean, they're pretty. They're kind of better than what we do. I mean, they're <laughs> pretty good, man. I, I mean, Jesse, love him. Pretty He's good man. No, you know what happens? Dude. It is it is the producer's nightmare of Geo, like, great guy. Uh, I, what did this news break literally the day after our episode dropped? Two ninety nine dropped. This news breaks. So and, and, and well, no, you I don't mean, know how many no, times. And, 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 on, and honestly, like I think they avoid. I think our, I think episodes. they avoid our podcast. They're like they're all. <laughs> let's. They probably had a meeting, and they're like, let's do it after the Mojo Break podcast. That way, it mellows out before they get to attack it. That's yeah, right. Right. That's pretty much. much. Yeah, they're afraid of our opinions. I mean, I mean, <laughs> it's an antitrust case. And I believe the um, one of the lawyers was involved in the Microsoft antitrust case that's working for Panini. So, um, you know, that got Microsoft to change some of their uh, rules and how they run things. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's just it's not my my opinion is it's not great for collectors in a perfect world. You want the hobby to be open and free and everybody be able to do what they want to do without having litigation in this stuff. So it, it's kind of a lose lose for the hobby overall. Yeah. It's fun to talk about. It's fun to see what happens. Um, and it's a dirty game because you know, Panini is on borrowed time, so they need to do what they need to do to try to stay in business. So I don't blame them for that. And fanatics is, you know, they're going to IPO soon. So they're doing what they need to do to put themselves in a position to be the future of the hobby. So it's, 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 it's a, it's a tough situation. It's, it's, a, it's a fight to the finish and we'll see, you know, what kind of blood loss is also litigation is nothing new to our industry either. Like this is just the two giants. This going is the at biggest it. one. Yeah. This see. is the two yeah. giants going at it, but we've seen other manufacturers in litigation, uh, smaller manufacturers against big manufacturers, but nothing like the two giant manufacturers going at it. Um, obviously there's a little bit of bad blood. Um, I think at the end of the day, it's, going to be one of those things where it's going to draw out it's going to be a story right now but we're probably not going to hear much about it for another year and a half two years uh i mean it it all this stuff moves very slow at the end of the day though it will be very expensive i can almost guarantee both parties involved will basically spend a lot of money doing what they're doing now, does that mean lawsuits. price hikes on products because of that I, I I don't know. That's I mean, a, I that's mean, a great question, Doug. Well, I, I don't. Well, I mean, that that aside, call the, call the, call Mister Fanatics. And what, Mr. What's going to what's going to raise the product is is they're already battling for exclusives, so the price is already being driven up <clears throat> to get exclusive athletes from these rookie classes. I've mean, I mean, I've heard rumors. I don't know if it's been announced, but I've heard rumors that uh, Fanatics signed eleven of the top NBA draft picks uh, to exclusives. So those prices are be, be getting driven up. So you're going to be looking at products that are going to be costing from this more. year. Yeah, that's what I've heard. I don't know if it's it's a legend. That that, that is true, the but. issue where, for the overall collector, the exclusives to individual athletes does a disservice to the collector. Yep. The end user is the really the only one that truly is hurt at the end of the day with the well, exclusive. You basically split the products. We have like two leagues now. So if you're collecting. Basketball, you have to buy like half the guys from Fanatics. You have to buy the other half. From but Panini. you're gonna get, you're not gonna get logos, right? 
You know what they did refer to in the lawsuit? And again, I'm taking this from the Sports Card Nonsense podcast and Paul Lesko is they referred to like Panini Baseball where they have the airbrush. They refer to them as pajama. I saw that. Pajama product. Pajama. Wow. Pajama. I mean, it actually is pretty good. Uh, yeah. Reputation. It makes sense. Yeah. I mean, it does. You don't have any logos on your pajamas? <laughs> no, I guess not. Do you wear pajamas? But if I what did, do you guys like. Want, all right, here's the question. The oh, listeners, boy. Let's get, some, let's get some insight. What do you guys wear to bed? <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know what? Uh, no, Sweatpants. I mean, I, no, I'm. I'm I'm basketball shorts and a tank top. That's it. You know, hey, some some simple uh, uh, shirt and sweats. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I wear I wear a shirt and like boxers. Yeah, I was gonna say I, yeah, shirt and skivvies. That's why I go. No, I wear I, I get wait with skivvies. Shorts skivvies. Okay. Skivvies. Yeah. Okay. So- skivvies. Socks or no socks? No. Yeah, you can't Dude, wear socks to bed. No. Absolutely yeah. not. Monster. Feet will be sm- sweaty. Yeah, no, no, no socks. D- yeah. Depending on if it's cold or not. No, it's true. No, no, it could be. It could be like negative 18 degrees outside and i'm like yeah. no socks well it took 300 episodes to get uh to get our Not nighttime know. attire yeah, yeah, you mean, know what actually i wear a nightcap i, I wear if, a big long somebody, gown somebody, like somebody, an ebenezer scrooge if somebody came out and they're like mask a silk robe i'm like <laughs> badass <laughs> yeah no well, I, I was trying to figure out if one of you did go in the nude I just mean, straight i don't think any of us are that way so. no 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 i nude i go to cold. sleep I too cold dude do you honestly do you do you know anybody who just sleeps in the nude if i'm I look, sure there's some if people I look out like there. simu lu i would sleep in the nude yeah that's fair some but people some people have to do it that I, way i don't i don't have to that, that's the only way they could sleep no yeah. no if that's a, that's a weird Not thing me, but if you basically are like i have to sleep in the nude like i have to do it that's I've never heard anybody say that. I actually don't know anybody. Maybe that's like old timey. Maybe, maybe, maybe back. Yeah, I mean, yeah. For me, it's just basketball shorts and usually a uh, t-shirt. Sometimes just a tank top, but I usually have a t-shirt and a tank top on. Yeah. Mm. Going yeah. to bed. Yeah. yeah. So. Word word. Uh, now you know. <laughs> quickly steer it back to the lawsuit here. I did want to nope. bring. I did want to bring up <laughs> some some quotes that I thought were interesting. Uh, don't, first, don't, from, not about redemptions. No, 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 <laughs> not that. First, from the Panini side. So this is from when Panini, by the way, uh, thanks to Sports Collectors Daily, who also got uh, some quotes directly from Fanatics uh, for their stories. Uh, First of all, this is from the Panini side, which was filed last week. They filed a 56-page federal antitrust lawsuit against Fanatics, alleging Fanatics has interfered with its existing contracts for trading card production and made other moves that violated Panini's ability to conduct business. Panini said, quote, Fanatics has done all this anti-competitive conduct to monopolize the markets for major U.S. professional sports leagues, trading cards, and others, even before its its exclusives begin. Uh, In short, Fanatics seeks to cripple Panini both for the short term, the remaining years on Panini's current exclusive license agreement, and the long term. Fanatics fires back. Quote, not only is the lawsuit littered with factual factual inaccuracies, but Panini's own licensing practices and experience as a longstanding incumbent presiding over multiple overlapping exclusive licenses with players, associations, and leagues give the lie to any allegations that is now an antitrust victim. Uh, There was one real juicy quote uh, that, well, basically it also is revealed that uh, Panini and Fanatics, as we have suspected, but they had a deal. They had a deal worked out. Yeah, they had something worked out, and, and it looks like I honestly, it, it looks like just, it looks like Panini kind of kind of played the deal and backed and and kind of like kind of backed out. Maybe 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 Panini had no deal that they were going to do in the first place. They were just like I mean, from what I've heard, is the price is too high. But I think if they all sat in with the Mickey's, they probably would have figured it out. I, but I'll, I'll but I'll tell <laughs> you that I'll tell you this right now, and from the heart. Um, both manufacturers, both my favorites. Yeah, both my favorites. Let me yeah. let me ask you guys. <laughs> I want to hold hands. With both let me <laughs> let me ask you guys, uh, with uh, with none of us being experts, obviously in law or nothing like that. Speak um, for yourself. How? What? What would? What's gonna happen if the court finds that Fanatics is monopolizing the industry Ooh. and? That that will, so it. I mean, looked, you'd have to back out on contracts. But if you, but right? if you die, if you dig deep into what, basically, Panini wins. Panini wins the suit, right? Yeah. Um, I think it's going to be. 
unlikely could happen who knows but panini wants fanatics to have to get rid of tops as a brand that is part of the stipulation they win and they have to separate as two companies no as two companies. i think it's more no i, I, I mean no it's more nfl and nba no it no they want fanatics to essentially either have to sell off tops or break off into something completely independent mm. of the fanatics brand that mm. is that if i'm not mistaken no. when i what i got from lesco and yeah, what you talking about on sports card nonsense for me it wasn't in pictures so i didn't understand it but um <laughs> you know i'm not believing what you guys are saying like i'm more of a picture book guy i mean i didn't i i, 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 I look and i didn't read anything <laughs> Look, we I come li- here done, I li- having I done listen, none of the research. I listen to quite possibly the only podcast that I actually listen to now is Sports Card Nonsense. I've said their name a lot. Hey, is this? Is they this, are friends. Is, join them? Hey, wait, we is, just wait, had them. Wait, is three hundred the brought to you by? <laughs> <laughs> brought to you by our good friends. I don't know where you guys Mike are at, Jesse. by the way? Where, where are you guys at? Uh, almost done. Uh, we we got to contact Bill. And see if we get. We got to get on the ringer. There you go. Yeah. Uh, can I? I mean, can look, I? Dude, we have. We got balloons. We got balloons. <laughs> can You're I welcome. throw out? You're welcome. Can I throw out one more? I was looking for this quote. I forgot to put it into the slide, but I feel it's like it's not about redemption. Is it? No, it's not. <laughs> I swear <laughs> to God, really it's sensitive. Like, no, because like, it, look at the comments. Oh, the it, comments it, it, on Twitter reaction. were like unbelievable. It was like, "You're getting sued." My redemption. Three, <laughs> three years, four years. <laughs> I've waited 17 years for this. I mean, there may have been somebody who was like my Tom Seaver. I, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know if that was still there, but I swear for a decade I've seen that same tweet, like copy and paste. Oh God, this is this was Fanatics' response to Panini for filing the lawsuit in the first place. "Quote: Panini's lawsuit is a baseless, last gap flailing, uh, last gasp flailing effort by a company that has lost touch with its consumers, is failing in the marketplace, and has tried unsuccessfully for years to sell itself. Panini is trying to blame Fanatics for its own inability to keep pace with what players, fans, and even its own employees rightly want. It is hardly surprising that Panini received an F grade from the Better Business Bureau. Okay. Shots okay. fired. But see, I, you, I don't... I want to I, I, Before I, you say I, something, I want to say something... When I when you said flailing, I think of like somebody going like like. Whoa, yeah. The, yeah. No, that no, the car dealership guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Inflatable yeah. tube man. Wacky waving inflatable tube man. That guy. Yeah. Flailing. <laughs> flailing. Wacky. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just just quoted Family Guy right now. That's what just happened. <laughs> Family Guy's the, the best. Um, but I, I also that I think there's a quote saying somewhere. Oh God. Uh, in there that. Wait, uh, wait. I'm. I'm gonna get the bronze. But, but Cody, what, what, what they're what they're locked, saying is Cody that, is, is that the the, uh, the CEO actually admitted that the uh, employees were underpaid as well, which goes along with what they just said there, um, which I think a lot of people did get raises after this stuff happened. So allegedly, hmm. Hmm. I look. I mean, I, I mean, I, I, I again, I, I, I don't want to have an opinion. I want to have an opinion, but I don't want to have an opinion out in the open. I come, get you. come, come, hang out with me at some point. We can talk off the record, no, I but, mean, I, love but Panini. Panini's, I, I don't, Panini, I don't agree. I don't, I don't agree. I, th- I think, I think I don't agree with that last quote. I, I feel that Panini has done a lot to innovate the space. Um, I feel that they have like herd collectors. We do talk about the designs. Let's talk about all the short print. The color wheel, color blast, kabooms, downtowns, like all that stuff that we all chase and love and like say how amazing it is. That is innovation. Yeah, you can't discredit that. No. So that that is that's something where like I don't I don't fully agree on on that comment where But you're battling against each other, so you're taking stabs. So I understand where Fanax is coming from, but from our standpoint Panini's done nothing but love for us, shown nothing but love for us. I mean, brought us on the field with players. I mean, given us uh, chances to build our business with them uh, and make and made products where. Well, I mean, the, you could the, 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 the it, mass consumers have wanted these products. If there wasn't if there wasn't people out there in this industry like and I, I mean, I'll, I'll just I'm going to name drop like first names, Tracy and Kevin 
Um, we would not be where we're at as an industry or as our company because we were embraced. Panini was the first company to truly embrace group breaking. Yeah. And what has group breaking done to this industry? It, it took it to the next level where it was very, very stagnant for not a decade, multiple decades. And especially during the panda. It was like it was the huge. panda. I you can changed say, you it. Can the say, panda. You can panda YouTube allows it now. Oh, okay. Well, I've I don't it know. I was just watching a video. It went from the pandemic to the oh. pandy to well, the you panda. You didn't have, have, so. have, have, <laughs> have to go. You didn't have to go full pandemic panda. on it. Panda. Vid 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 vid. That's what like kept people involved and actually brought people in is breaking is and not just us. Everybody that was involved in the community, uh, being able to provide entertainment and get people more more people in the industry. And, uh, you know, Panini being around at that time and providing great products and compelling products was another reason why. So it's it, it's a tough it's like we're the we're the like the guys that are like trying to break up the fight in the middle of the fight right now, because it's like we don't want to see we got friends on both sides. and We have friends that have switched sides, too. So, uh, I mean, like trying to break it up and hope hoping that they both can like coincide somehow. But. It just doesn't seem like it's going to end that way. Doug should be called as an expert witness when this goes to trial. And you can just get up and be like, hey, bro, I'm just here to break up the fight. <laughs> just all love, baby. You know, it's all Hug love. it out, bro. Hug it Hug out. Hug it out. I will say, like, because it, it's right. Obviously, the beginning of these types of legal battles, it's always win. Your th- everything is flying. The ugliest of the ugly comments come out. That's that's how you have to start. But I think the fact that, one, we saw that, yes, behind the scenes, there was real progress to make something happen. I mean, obviously, things have stalled, to put it lightly. But I think by the end of all of this, uh, maybe I'm the one being optimistic, but I think eventually there will be a settlement of some kind. I I think the this this is the one one opinion I'm going to have about this from the outside looking in the optics. Panini basically saying that Fanatics has a monopoly and it's bad for the industry and bad for consumers. What looks bad is the fact that Panini was in talks to be acquired by Fanatics. So it was okay to get acquired and be part of basically this giant machine, but when it didn't work out, now it's an issue like that is where I think is going to be their hardest argument that they're going to have to make is the fact that but you were willing to get acquired and join said monopoly and that was okay as long as it worked out on your terms that that is that is going that's that is going to be their biggest hill that they're going to have to climb is to try to prove true that. I also would like to point out that I was probably the first podcaster that said that Fanatics was going to be in the card game. And I actually said this to a lot of distributors, and they'd, like, laughed at me. And this was, like, three or four years ago. I wish I could find that audio. If somebody can find that audio. No, yeah, you, if I somebody mean, can I find that I, audio, no, I, mean, I will we, give them a free box. We've had, we've had multiple conversations, and you were always. Uh, I don't know how many I saw events, the trajectory. I don't know how many events happening. we did, and Doug was like, yeah, Fanatics is going to get in the card game at some point. And, I mean, this is when – this, like is, five, this, this, three, this is before. Ago, no, easily. no, no, no. This is a long time ago. Long, long, long time ago. Before this is before Fanatics <clears throat> even had a product like a like a Panini Fanatics exclusive product. This yeah, is because well I just saw that. their trajectory that they owned all the memorabilia, and somebody's like, "Who's going to get the card game?" But it's this like, is actually the only company this is before can. they were exclusive memorabilia too. Yeah, I mean, maybe maybe you can see the future. I don't know. Like it, it's just the size of their business. Maybe like, you're. I, I just figured it was gonna. Maybe happen. you're a time traveler. It, another, I don't know. Maybe I, you know. Maybe I'm Matt Gra- <laughs> Graining from The Simpsons. But uh, he does um, predict things. Yes. What's that? <laughs> he does predict a lot of things yeah, accurately. I mean, I, I, yes. He's, he's probably, probably part of family. What's his name for me? Matt, Matt Graining. Matt Graining. Is it Graining. You got it right. Matt okay. Graining. I, no, I, I. Futurama Simpsons. You know the man. Yeah. Matt Groening. He, I thought done, it was Groening. He's done more Graining. than. He's done more than that. Uh, oh, what's the comic he did years ago before oh, the bunny ears? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell or something. Yes. Or, yeah, welcome to, yeah, yeah. And then he I, did that new one on Netflix that I tried I, and it was I funny. actually get the Simpsons. Uh, so, like, Bob's Burgers. Is, that is not him. But I know it's not him. But yeah, that, yeah. is that Family Guy? 
No, uh, Lauren Bo- uh, Boshard, I believe, is, is that un- uh, home is that, movies. Did you ever watch that one? Is that unrelated to any of the big? Yes. Oh, but did you I ever just, watch Home Movies way back? Uh, it was on Adult Swim for a long time. It was a good show. Uh, that's where he started. I watched Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Oh, Aqua Teen was awesome. I mean, God, I loved Aqua Teen. <laughs> Nerds. <laughs> yeah, and I that usually usually that's not. Usually Actually, Ox Street Hunger Force is pretty good. Was, that was the fries, right? Oh, the, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Frylock <laughs> and Master <laughs> Shay and uh, Meat Wad. Meat, 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 meat Wad. Their neighbor meat Carl. Carl. What do you want? What do you want? Great <laughs> show. Great <laughs> show, man. It was that uh, Adult Swim, up. right? Yep. Watch a lot of it. I feel like yeah. a lot of those cartoons are like for like stoners or something. Oh, oh they yeah, most 100%. definitely were. They were on like 11 o'clock at night. I'll say nothing more, but they most definitely were. The characters were a shake, fries, and a meatball. And a meatball. Yep. <laughs> like, like, that's, all, that's all you got to know. <laughs> then they would have the aliens who would come in that were like little 8-bit aliens. They would come in every once I, in a I while. I feel like Ren and Stimpy and SpongeBob were kind of in that category as well. Oh, for sure. SpongeBob was great. Yeah, great. the one younger. I, yeah, I think, I think Aqua Teen Hunger Force is like a little bit older than that. Like yes. some of the comedy was a little, a little bit, a little bit like... Risque. I don't know, risque than It was, for than a, it was not for kids. It was for adults. Yeah, I get it. So I wanted to talk about kind of to parlay from what we were just talking about with what's going on here with Panini and Fanatics. It's a it's a it's a, obviously I was I think it can be put in one of the biggest stories we've had this year in the hobby and one mm-hmm. of the bigger we've had in a long time. So I think now is a good time. We talked about it at the beginning of the episode. How far we've come from episode 200 to 300. Um, what is this industry going to look like two years from now by the time we get to episode 400? It doesn't very, feel like it's a long different. time. And yet, yes, absolutely. Like C-Red said, I think this is going to look <clears throat> completely different, very different. Uh, from what we have seen. Obviously, there's so, the live e-commerce apps, the shows. Uh, we were just back from the national, but then... What, two years ago, the Mint didn't exist. Now the Mint is like a big everybody goes show. Not only that, you have Fanatics events, which seem like they're going to do their own show. So shows are getting bigger. The live e-commerce stuff. Obviously, the big companies that are distributing, that are creating these products as a whole. So let's just throw it out. I mean, anything that comes to mind. Predictions for the next couple of years in the hobby. Holograms. (laughs) Um, <laughs> hologram breakers, <laughs> everything, <laughs> athletes breakers, <laughs> holograms, um, holograms. I remember think. The, remember the Denny's Grand Slam cards that were holograms? Whoa! Not talking about virtual. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah, break. I for did. You I did that in your house. I did that. I did that. Wow. Yeah. No, yeah. It's not two years away. I, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I I could see that for I'm, sure. I'm I mean, because we were already talking about the VR stuff be, be, being more oh, more this prevalent. Is, this is a serious topic. Um, no. not, not really. Let's <laughs> try to be funny. Uh, I think along the lines of the holograms, I think like AI is gonna somehow play a part in the industry. Alan um, Iverson or. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think you're onto something. I think, but I don't see it going super far. I think grading, for yeah, sure, artificial intelligence be grading is going to be done by holograms. No AI. <laughs> oh, by yeah, Alan yeah. Iverson. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Alan Iverson owns a grading company. Okay. <laughs> um, Derek Jeter does. Yeah, it's going to be. <laughs> we saw him in the next. Say, say everything plays out how it, how it's going to you know eventually play out here. Um, and Tops owns all of the licenses. Yeah, because we're, that's we're, about that's about when it's gonna run out, right? In two years. Yeah, much. We're, yeah. We're two talking about landscape where we're like, yeah, fully fully fanatics, fully tops, pretty much. Uh, we don't know what Upper Deck is gonna do, but they'll probably retain their hockey license for the most part, probably. Um, I think but they're like, locked into that hockey license yeah, for a how, long time. How we do business, how we do breaks, uh, what what the industry looks like. It it, it really is gonna be a lot different. Um, I feel like in two years. And maybe we are going to really start getting into that, like, computers computers and AI break, doing breaks. I think for sure LeBron James will have modern-day cards and logo mans to chase within I would years. love that. I would love that. I, I think for sure. Because if you follow the pattern, Bronny James is signed with pretty much as an NIL deal. He has McDonald's All-American cards coming out. The caveat to that was probably getting daddy – 
and Daddy is probably going to be signed with Fanatics. I'm saying uh, allegedly, and you're gonna you're gonna start getting them back into products now. Whether that's going to be Chrome, Tops Chrome, if they're going to create another brand, if they're going to buy Exquisite, I don't know. It, but we're gonna have more LeBron cards because remember, once he retires, he will not have Panini cards anymore because it's only part of the NBA PA. So I think you'll start seeing autographs, logo man chases of LeBron again, which I don't know if will be good. I'm sure the guys that have the five hundred thousand dollar logo mans, they're gonna be clinching. But you know, there's gonna be a possibility for people to pull none of packs again. In two years, it's hard to say. I mean, I a mil- I mean, a million things can happen. I don't. I don't know. I don't think. I definitely don't think the ind- what you just do. You just drink it on yourself. You just well. Uh, that's did you guys just, like, like you guys did not finish your forties? No, I know. I, well, is, well for, first off, okay. Well, that's um, pretty good. So, you're not gonna hit the podium. No, no. like you. Yeah, I'm gonna get bronze. Cody's gonna get silver. Doug, Doug's That's coming. Yep. Doug is the Michael Phelps of drinking forties. Yep. <laughs> tell him, <laughs> tell him what you got over there. Doug. Your family would be proud. This is a uh, Dalimore King Alexander the Third. So by by we the did, we by went, Brian we went Dalimore. From, we went from two dollars. Oh, man, <laughs> it's a it's, Dan. It's we went a, from the it's cheapest Brian alcohol. Dalimore distillery. Look. We went from the cheap, <laughs> cheapest alcohol. I'm to like a three hundred dollar bottle of Scotch. <laughs> actually, I paid four hundred dollars for it. I, but uh, from Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. King Alexander the Third, and I bought it because it's got the third. So you throw another couple zeros on there, and that's three hundred. Look, Co- Cody's that's, got a Brian Dallas story. That's wonderful, <laughs> but I just I'm holding my hand to my heart, and I know this is. Look, you want to talk about Bay Area talk? I know people are like, man, you guys talk Bay Area so much. This is like hyper Bay Area talk. Brian Dallimore is my dude. <laughs> I love Brian Dallimore. Hit a grand slam as a giant. Like a rookie year, and he was like 35. That's yeah. That is my guy. So you're telling me there's a chance. I love him. Bias, <laughs> bias bumming now. I would, I, if anybody out there. He doesn't have a card. Who? Actually, a no, Brian Dallimore no, card. I, I actually it. think Who? Brian Dallimore has, I think he had a rookie card. Yeah, I think there's they, something. I think it's like had Brian months. Dallimore rookie cards. Yeah. Who? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's what the entire audience is saying. I get it. I get it. So he went on to make some great on. whiskey, by yeah, the way. He made some great yeah. whiskey. Yeah. I think it's spelled differently, but <laughs> it's actually kind of fa- fancy bottle for you know uh, kind of forty percent alcohol. Kind of going off the Whoa. LeBron thing. Can't drink Ooh. too much of that now. Uh, kind of going off it's the LeBron whiskey. thing there. Uh, I I might have brought this up on a previous podcast. There is also I think there's a part of me that thinks it's 50 50 that he either when the uh, you know he leaves upper deck and he goes to fanatics, or he just says I'm doing my own thing. I th- I am going to. Kind of the only likeness I can think of is like Barry Bonds, where Barry Bonds has his own brand, his own thing. So LeBron, he hasn't taken LeBron, advantage LeBron of LeBron that. Cards. No, I but think, imagine I think, it's all LeBron. It's but nothing LeBron, but him. LeBron don't. He doesn't need to sell his likeness for cards to like. He does, no. he makes so much money. He's gonna be like, I'm gonna go into like producing shows. That's what and he movies. Wants. Yeah. And I would I would and, agree with you, but the fact that there was no Goodwin base of LeBron tells me the future. So no, that's the thing. No, it, it, tell, it, it tells, it tells like me LeBron. that he he is like tells me he has pull at upper deck. But like whatever, base whatever. Card. No, no, but I he, don't want cards. He's probably like I don't want to have my likeness out there anymore. I'm gonna phase this part of my life out, and I'm gonna go into things that I really am passionate about, mm-hmm. or and that he's in complete. He wants to be in complete control of exactly what goes out with his likeness. Which is why I could see him just be and, like, and these are my and there's cards, no doubt, my like thing. LeBron's Whatever. camp <clears throat> and LeBron, very smart. Um, he is aware of the sports card industry. Like, it's not like he's like, I have no idea what's going on. There's a lot of players out there that are like, out of sight, out of mind, whatever check I get from this industry. It doesn't really matter. It is what it is. Probably the same thing is with the video games, too. They're just like, give me my, give me my royalty from... NBA 2K whatever like that's that's what I'm about I think LeBron really does have a team and himself obviously he is so big that he knows everything that's going on so he will decide when he's done playing if he wants to be in the industry or if he doesn't and if he doesn't he will focus all of his energy into what he wants to do and it's going to be great because everybody knows I'm a big LeBron fan obviously but we know movies and shows and like that, like Hollywood. He he's not in L.A. 
just because the Lakers wanted him. He That's went to why LA. He, made the move. he went to LA because he has a passion. Yeah. And his passion is being either with the movie aspect or show aspect. He wants to be involved in that. <clears throat> yeah. At the same time, like the way I, I see it too, um, obviously Michael Rubin, the head of Fanatics, he has a lot of pull, right, with players specifically and, and celebrities and athletes, Michael Rubin. And I think he can easily get in a room with LeBron James and his people. And same thing with Jordan. He can probably get in a room with Michael Jordan and his people. And if there's a deal to be made, he I, I feel confident that Michael Rubin can pull it off for They're, Fanatics. And they bought Mitchell and Ness already. So <clears throat> True. that's another sign. True. I'll throw out one more prediction for where we're going to be at in two years. I think this is a pretty safe prediction. But I think whatever – Fanatics has planned by uh, two years from now, we're going to have at least one, if not two, probably at least one of whatever the big convention Fanatics is planning under the Fanatics event banner. And I think that is going to be a moment where it's going to be sort of a fork in the road for a lot of people in this collectibles industry, uh, whether you're memorabilia or you're in the hobby or whatever it is. And you're going to look at, you know, hey, this show, this whatever fanatic show they put up. Um, not that you have to make a choice, but that these are going to be two shows of equal magnitude. Yeah. And I think that is going to be a big moment for everybody in this industry to be like, what, you know, I, I, either where do you put your energy or do we have to have these? Essentially, do we have two nationals? Every single year. Okay. I like that. I got one more thing before we go. Yeah. And, I, and I love that take. Go back to 200. Episode 200, we were talking about, like, doing breaks in the metaverse. <laughs> that thing is buying, way in the rear of the buying, you. Buying, buying real estate in the metaverse. Uh-huh. Um, wasn't that long ago. Not going to get rich, Rich, man. No, I mean, <laughs> I to be fair, but, I still oh, think some of that's going to happen. Oh, yeah, I know C Rad's the biggest advocate here on this but, show, but, but yes. But I'm, I, but remember, remember, we were like, dude, breaks in the metaverse are going to happen, I, I don't and think. we are two years later. It sounds like a wacky, have you have you done a break in the metaverse? I would love to do a break in the metaverse. To be honest, is there a metaverse still? Yeah, there is. Because I know Snoop Dogg was trying to really the whole company get it. Is called Meta. I know, I know, I know. But it didn't, and then he tried to do Twitter threads. And that's, but, that's but it's not, now, right? But it's not, it's not threads anymore. Threads. Or, or, or it's, not, it? it's, it's not, not Twitter, Twitter anymore. anymore. It's X. X. Yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> you know, Jake's in X, Coke. baby. <laughs> Wait, what are we doing here? <laughs> he should have the DMX X. Like the, this is the background No, I was song. making the argument that if you look at the new logo, the way that the, the the first the initial the thicker X it still looks like a bird that's like sideways going like this so it's still kind of like a Twitter bird. Yeah, it's Twitter. My point was we haven't done a break in the in the metaverse yet. Yeah, no, but we and, will. And uh, I don't think. But do you think by twenty twenty four C Red we're going to do? Breaks there's going to the be metaverse? some type of um, there's going to be some type of like virtual reality where like like kind of what I almost double saying it's like it's like. You can you're there with the breaker opening the product. You know what I mean? Like you're 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 sitting in your living room, and then Doug will be sitting right next to you opening the product, and you can just look over and be like, give him a high Sick. five. Yeah, VR breaks doesn't sound that insane, honestly. Metaverse maybe hyper specific metaverse, but you're right. VR doing something in the VR space. Okay, 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 you, okay cool. So VR, VR. Um, do you do VR? Cody on a no, regular basis. I don't have anything. Okay, Doug, do you nah, do VR? But nah. you, but you have it though. You have it, but you don't do it. Don't use it. It's good. Get, getting dust, collecting dust. See, Rad, you do. You do VR on a on a regular basis. I probably play VR games like once every couple weeks. Okay, so that's probably more than every. I I, I don't. I think it's going to be one of those things where people who are into it will do it, but I don't think it's going to be a way of life like we're going to change the way we live and we're going to have like this alternate reality where we can go into this vr world i don't i don't think we're there I, honestly i think at some point that may be the case but unfortunately not to be more but i don't think none of us are going to be honestly here if that. we talk about two years if we talk about two years from now i don't i don't think a lot changes other than the fact that maybe fanatics gain, regains more control 
uh, we're, we're dealing with the end of Panini. I mean, pending on this lawsuit, and I, and I don't want that to happen, but, like, I, th I think the cards are going to remain the same. I think the way we're going to do business is the same. Um, there may be more product. I mean, Fanatics should probably make their own brands. I mean, Panini did that when they came in. They took playoff national treasures. They made that. But Prism wasn't a thing. You know, um, but they did, they did acquire a lot of brands over the years, right? They did, but like Fanatics hasn't came out with their own brand yet. I think that needs to happen. I think we need to see like a Fanatics, some kind of a high end product for baseball, uh, their own naming, a new a new version. All right, all right, stuff. all right, all right. You're on the board right now. You you are product development. You are coming up with the first Fanatics name for a product. What is it? <sighs> Fanatics freaking awesome, baseball. Okay, you know, you, I, you you can't you no. I mean I mean you're fired. On. Yeah, yeah, awesome. like that. Yeah, that can't be. That can't be. That now can't you, be. Serious. That was a quick answer though. Like, no, I mean it was thing. quick, but I mean was it was uh, it a good one? Uh, no. Um, <laughs> well, uh, it, it, that's hard to put me on the spot. There's a lot of names. It, it, you don't have to be the first one to go. I like mean, it, it's an open whoever whoever comes up with something can just say. All right, go ahead. I'm gonna. Are I'm you gonna, gonna go? A, you're gonna go on your phone. Thesaurus. You're yeah. gonna you're gonna ask yeah. for anything that starts with I. It's already been done. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Panini Panini did it. <laughs> Freaking awesome, dude. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, what do you got? Let's see. Uh, no, I mean it doesn't. Why? I, I'm just saying it's it's out for everybody. Somebody come up with something. We're. We're coming up with ideas here. Say a name. Say say a word. Phenomenal. Say a word. Fantastic. F fan fantastic. <laughs> Slippy. Fanatics, slappy. Phenomenal. Samsonite. All right, here we go. <laughs> Fanatics. He's in Disneyland thing. Fanatics. Exceptional. Exceptional. Okay, but you were on your phone. Yeah, uh, but you know, what's, you, you know what's funny is I searched flawless. You know what uh, uh, came with it? Immaculate. And impeccable. That came in the no, source. No, I, well, look. That, they use the same <laughs> yeah. thing. They do the same thing. Um, how about Icy. And absolutes on there too. Icy. Fanatics icy. Fanatics icy. icy. Hey. What I know. I mean, about, honestly, no, Fanatics no, phenomenal nobody, works. No, everybody icy. Icy. It's cold. It's Yeah. I mean, they can totally go so, the 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 first. So, so cold, it's Fanatics hot. first. Fanatic first. Fanatics off first. Off the line. <laughs> Fanatics first. <laughs> first off the line. <laughs> first off the line. Yeah. I mean it's Energy, right but with like the N in the front. Energy. energy. Oh, so no, we're going energy. like energy. how, like in the early two thousands, turn of the millennium, everything was extreme with an X. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Fanatics Luxor. Luxor. You might That's have a bad for, hotel. Another though. word. I was going to say there might be a copyright infringement right there. <laughs> I didn't want to say Lux because Panini already did Lux. But they didn't do Lux. They don't do Lux. And, Savage. And, and, then, and then you can't do Luxury because that's like. That's just Savage like, probably doesn't have a good. It's not, not a good ring. Let's go. <laughs> For next, let's go. Let's go. Oh, um, yeah. How about. I'm thinking like. Well, we already have the lunar. We have the lunar. Glorified. We, we have the we have so Fanatics features. We have lunar. We have lunar like lunar refractors. So oh. what about something in the orbit? How about orbit? Orbital. Orbital. Orbital orbit. is your eye. So no, Fanatics. Orbit. They already have the Chrome Galaxy. Fanatics. What about orbit. Cosmic Chrome. Fanatics Friendship. Orbit. <laughs> what about Solar Rise? Mm, Ooh, I'm good. Solar, solar Rise. Solar. Yeah. I kind of like solar. solar. I like Solar. I like just Solar. I kind of yeah. like it. Yeah. All right. There it is. See, how about a cracked color wheel? <laughs> <laughs> what? Huh? Just com <laughs> let's start combining names. You know, we like we have like. Uh, like uh, uh, a gold virtuoso, you know, golden virtuoso. You just start combining names from other brands. No. Cool. No. <laughs> what about what about fanatics venturi? Venturi. <laughs> that's not even a word, but it, it actually has a good ring to it. Up. Honestly, we need to do just make up words. I think that's. I'm what telling you, I'm got I got some ideas here. How about, I mean, Come how on. about how about victory? Victory is uh, a good a one. I'm not mad about victory. that. Whatever. Upper deck. Yeah. yeah. Um, how about? Uh, I, man, I keep on going back to How Lunar. How about Fanatics Mojo? <laughs> yeah, there it is. There it is. How about Bronze? Because that's what is. I just got done. What's Dan's up? Dan's got Bronze. Uh, Cody's and, already done. And hey, why don't we? I am the Ryan Lochte. Dan's got of this podcast. Dan, yeah. Just just be careful where <laughs> yeah. where you let that out if you're the Ryan Lochte. I'll I tell you guys what, dude. If I didn't just come back from Vegas, I would have been first place. That's true. That's true. I had a we D D Doug I and it. I Doug and I had a week of detoxing from the national. So we're fine. I I just came back from Vegas yesterday, yeah. two days then ago. Then you should have a 
you should be tolerance. In, in, yeah. should be good. Yeah, you should yeah. be good. Um, hey. I was ready to throw up for the first two that want to come back. Speaking of victory, why don't we? I think that's a good way to parlay into our top five hits okay. all, all right. time. Here we in go. Mojo break history. Let's talk about it. All right, we're going for it. Jones, boom! We like to joke that when a card gets pulled, the product's dead. <laughs> the product is over! <laughs> Team crushed it. Ended up crushing it. Six of 25, silver parallel, rookie patch, auto, Patrick. 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 T Lock killed it with the Chiefs. Congrats, T Lock. Six of 25, Mahomes. The second. Life is complete. Well, maybe he should have been your pick, even though he's white and thick. He's colder <sighs> than a tall glass of kombucha. Jamal Mashburn. All right, come on, come on. Brian Grant. Come on. The last guy. Oh! 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 I just got dizzy. I just got dizzy. Oh my god! We pulled it! We pulled the LeBron! We pulled the Oh my god, we did it! The last back! The last back! Holy cow! I don't like just going for it, but I'm really gonna go for it. Let's make sure we don't break the Shohei Otani again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah! 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 Triple logo man! Triple logo man! We did it! Triple logo man! 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 of all time uh so at number five we start off with yes the mac jones shield the what? flawless shield whoa whoa whoa, 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 See, whoa i knew it was gonna be controversial whoa. i mean i'm not gonna be like dude cody what the f are you thinking but oh wait <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna bleep oh man no, i we gonna... make it making it so Cody already had it cut out my sunny bono reference last week so i mean now he's gonna be doing this one <laughs> it was a tough decision it was a tough decision <laughs> i think we had oh, was to. it cut out actually it was cut out we, we, oh, we, yeah. it, it had to be cut yeah, out yeah, that i mean sense. i almost did it it was. I I it I was in bad taste. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I had you guys laughing. Though. It was funny. Yeah, but it was Comedic a little much. Um, family show. Family show. So, the Mac Jones. Number I mean, five. is it? Of but all if, time. but if Mac Jones, a lot of if Mac Jones was it. had the hype of Joe Burrow, mm -hmm. 
then it would probably be a little. If bit Mac higher. Jones played like Joe Burrow, if last Mac year, Jones then yes, was it would Joe be a little higher. It would be a little higher. Yeah, yeah, be a little higher. So, uh, man, I, I need, give him I, respect. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. I need these players to do a lot better than what they're doing. Yeah, like they they need really need to step up, step up their game. I mean, from a performance aspect, I think it was a uh, it was a it was a home run. Uh, but the player just didn't pan out, and that's maybe no fault of your own. But I mean, it was the biggest hit of the product at the time. Yes, I killed it. So that's why I had to. I, had I literally to, killed the product. Had to put it in the top five because of that. He still uh, got a chance. It's him and Zappy, right? Zappy. I actually yeah. don't think it would have been the same response if it wasn't the morning of the release as well. Right. Right. Like timing is everything. Timing is everything. Uh, number four, uh, I put the Luca True RPA that C Rad hit out number of five. NT number to five. Uh, again, reaction, how big it was. Everything goes into that. Uh, putting it number four all time. I love it. Would you have put LeBron logo man over that? That's yes. where I want to. Okay. Yes, I would have. <laughs> but that, that yeah, Luca to five did sell for uh, a half million dollars at one point. And but, I know, and I that's and, th- and that's what and I, see, I, I think. I that. think it's still worth half a million. Right now, that number uh, to five RPA. Yeah, probably twenty thousand if I would pay. That's for it. and oh, and that on. went into the factor of putting it to, over the LeBron because it kind Whoa. of was between those two. Got a little, uh, Put a little hair on your chest. chest. Yep. Um, yeah, that'll... I mean, he's like the what the top eightieth player in the league now. I mean, I uh, in the D league ten. Yeah, in the D league. Yeah, I mean, he might he might be able to get some. Probably top five he, actually. He, no, he's, he's a gar- he's a garbage minute guy in the D league. Top yeah. five. Like, like, if I'm, like top five in the world actually. I'll Santa Cruz Warriors. If like they are basically being, being blown out by thirty, I'd put in Luca. It's like Wiseman or Luca. It's a tough decision. He might oh, be number. Wi- two. Oh, he might be number oh, two behind Curry. Wiseman right now. Um, actually, you can say anybody who's been drafted in the last, I don't know, decade, I'd pretty much take them over. Luka. And I will mention, for those that don't know, I hit that number to five on the release night of National Treasures. So, I mean, in general, we're looking just for like the 99 RPA, right, every single year of NT. To hit that, but it wasn't even that number big, to though. five like, was I'll, amazing. I don't, But that wasn't the guy, though. That everybody was chasing at that oh, at that point. Wait it was. a minute, what? No, no. Yeah, it kind of was. No, what? No. Who, who, who are they chasing? Trey? Trey Young. No. Trey who? No. Trey who? That's a failed prospect eight, year. Eight, eight, it really eight. is. Aiden. <laughs> Trey who? Aiden. Kobe. Was it, it? Who was the first overall pick that Aiden. year? Aiden. You yeah. Chasing Aiden though. No, you were Chase, chasing. No, Luke no, and no. Trey. Look, bro. <laughs> I was in the trenches. In I 18, know you 19. were. We were chasing Aiden. We didn't know. Not really. In the year before, uh, you we're know. looking for Kobe. <laughs> That's it. All right, number three is the, the Kobe. The Kobe still. I don't know if the Kobe's been pulled out of, out of NT. Number three. Would you Would you prefer huh. a a Kobe logo man out of eighteen nineteen, or, or a Luca number to five? Luca number to five. Oh, come on now. Come on, dude. Luca number Kobe five. Because there's a lot of other more solid. He after says Luca. Kobe. I think I go Luca. There's I more solid. Brought our pizza. Yeah, there's more solid. Literally brought our pizza right now. That's what he's doing. He's a pizza boy. <laughs> uh, number three, and this is again, this is probably the most muted reaction we had. Uh, shout out, thank you, Doug, for scouring the archives to find this. But in terms of just the card, it has got to be one of the biggest you guys have ever hit. See where I pulled it, Patrick Mahomes. True RPA out of 2017 National Treasure. That card is one of the most valuable <laughs> cards in this entire hobby now. So I and did I even have an re- a reaction when I pulled it? You pulled it. You you did press the boom button. Okay. You said nice time, break for the Chiefs. There was a time when those products came out though, that Trubisky just threw a five touchdown game, and we were all chasing Trubisky. Yeah. You know what I always found interesting? Like that didn't look like Patrick Mahomes. That's an, that's an eBay. That's an eBay 101. Jordan number. The Jordan number. Yeah. The, the goat number for the goat. Last two. Had to put the LeBron James rookie poll from the 2021 National. Uh, obviously, the card itself huge, but the timing of it. Everything. It's just everything surrounding that. How you guys pulled it, when you guys pulled it, had to put it number two on the list. So, and, and that's probably a Doug poll, right? It was Doug. That's a Doug poll. Yep. And then, like, with you and, uh, and Doug, and, Dan, and Joe Staley. And Joe Staley. And then there was a lot of, like, really awkward, <coughs> weird, like, <coughs> celebrating. I think Joe was, like, grabbing me, and we were just, like, jumping up and down. I mean, it was, it was, I, I've, I've had a conversation with Joe. But it was one of the most exciting events I've ever had in my life. 
It was. It was crazy. No, I mean, seriously. It was. It, it's. Yeah, you can feel the excitement. It was wild. When you guys first sent that to me to edit that, and you went, you're not going to believe what we pulled on the very last. The Literally the last card yeah, of that box. Uh, it was incredible. This this scotch has like a a butter See, but I couldn't like be flavor to it. The stage, but yeah, I know. We tried. We tried. We tried. we tried. we tried our hardest. And number one, it's not a surprise. Uh, just happened a few months ago. The triple logo man, yes, LeBron, Curry, Luca, out of flawless basketball, twenty one, twenty two. You know, and some people are the, saying, you well, know, this guy. Some people were this running guy. that. Some people are saying that we're running that one to the ground. Hey, but you got to. But you wait, 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 wait. The, the, la- the latest wait, comment. Who said we're running it into the ground? Well, you know, we're, we're marketing the heck out of that. I one. mean, I've. It's on golden.com. I, I've right heard. Now. I've heard a lot. <laughs> I mean, if you look at the comments, there's not a lot of positive ones. I mean, it's a lot of negativity. <laughs> well, the latest one was that they that uh, what was that called? I, you know, I'm gonna read this live. Just how we lied. But <laughs> apparently we lied. I like. Don't know. No, and the funny thing is, is that honestly, like, we were sitting here doing that break, and I gave Conrad the better of the two flawless. I'm like, you rip the better flawless. I'm like, I'll rip the new flawless, whatever. I we'll think the new, I think the newest one always has to go last because it's just what more people yeah. are more familiar with. So I basically, I mean, not to take away, your flawless is like, that was tough. That was tough times. Did I have an Anthony Davis one on one? No, maybe uh, the gem. Maybe it was. It was a. It was a. It and was an Anthony Davis. It was a Anthony bad. Davis. It was a bad news bears box. Like it was. Eh, it, it was okay. It, it wasn't great though. It wasn't. It was not the way we wanted to end yeah, the right. break. So I was like, okay, crap. Like we had opened a lot of this year's flawless. We know ebbs and flows, the peaks and valleys, right? So I went into it going like. Hopefully for like something decent. I mean, Anthony Davis auto probably is what I was thinking. As soon as I opened it up, I saw Triple Logo Man. I saw it. Closed it back up. Set it. No idea who it was though. No idea. It wasn't until I actually took the card out, showed the camera, put it on the stand, and Cody producing it's like, that's the one. And I'm all, damn right, that's the one. Like, I still did not actually recognize that it was the actual triple logo, man, that we were chasing. Yep. I, I was like, see Cody's comment it on was this one. any lo- triple, any, you hit any triple logo, man. So the person that just commented a day ago, which uh, we appreciate the 310 comments on it. If anybody's wondering, that's not the LeBron James triple logo, man, that was pulled by Backyard Breaks and sold on the Golden Auction. They have a show on it on Netflix, LOL. These dudes pulled one of the other four triple logos and tried to lie and hype themselves up like they got it, LOL. Huh? <laughs> Are you dumb? And then I put, thanks for the comment, but you can bid on this one as golden as well. And then Cody said, it's spelled breaks, B-R-E-A-K-S, <laughs> but you probably should have hit the breaks because the guy spelled it B-R-A-K-E-S before posting this comment. Yeah, man, come on. Come on, let's do it's the better. biggest hit of the twenty one twenty two flaws. Yes, the other one was in twenty twenty one. Last year, well, well, that's probably the breaks, say, and that was the biggest. I would say the second biggest modern day sports card that's been pulled. I mean, what since oh three oh four, something like that. Oh three oh four exquisite, mm-hmm. my favorite product. Yeah, and I gotta top say, five, I I, it, I love the design. It's my favorite. I mean, it, it's it, my, it, it, was my, a, it, it was a big boy poll, and, and and it got a lot of press for us, and and you know it uh, it was good, and you know if you don't like it, suck it. And that's all I gotta say. <laughs> there's a reason it's number one. Second, it, it was deck, the biggest okay. one. <laughs> yep. Um. And obviously, we've all here at this table been doing this breaking thing for a long time. Um. Needless to say, like the amount of products that we rip, the amount of big chase cards, and these products, the hundreds of products that come out every year. Getting that main card out of any one product is nearly impossible, just like what you were saying then. So pulling that triple logo man really is the big is the biggest card we've ever pulled here at Mojo Break. And it it might be the biggest card forever because you just don't get those type of cards. It just they like you know, you j- it just doesn't fall in your lap like that every single day. Uh not Conrad. 
No, nah, definitely not Conrad. Not Conrad. I don't know what happened. We may have taken a little All bit right, of a break. So wait, 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 wait. This is Shane. If anybody doesn't know, this is Shane. Um, people may know him. He's famous. Infamous. He's fam- Infamous. Famous for a lot of things. Yeah. What are you famous for? Well, my one on one, for for example. I'm famous for my one on one. Get that in the camera right there. You know, that's a one Actually. of one of one of one. Fuck. Only one out there. You know. Um, actually, so that camera right there is the one you have to do that. <laughs> okay. So um, Here, let me get a little closer. And no, 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 sit no, down, no. Billy. Um, it's funny you said that. That's actually the name I was going to go with. I was going to go Billy Festerson. <laughs> Say it again. That's Billy Festerson. All right, Billy. What do you think you could bring to the wait, table? Wait, 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 wait. Festerson? Festerson. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm applying you should, for... You should have gone with Billy Ray. I was like, yeah. didn't the whole Billy Ray Cyrus thing? Billy Ray would have worked. You're killing yeah. me. So, my name's Billy Festerson, you know. Okay. My, name is Billy, my name is Billy Ray Shane. Big. <laughs> big. Very big. Huge. Mojo Break fan since day one. Why don't you talk into the mic like you've actually okay. talked to a mic before? Wow, well, you know. I'm applying for the honor of talent, so, you know. But I, I saw that no no experience was required, so that's always good. And oh, and by the way, I think this would really seal the deal. Do you that do you do you one see of one of one of one Mojo Break tattoo? Which, we, which means we can never change okay. the logo. He so. is our inventory guy right now, but he is going for. Uh, Inven- to move in, up wait, the, uh, wait, no, 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 no. He is not our inventory guy. The control manager. But, it, I mean, no, 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 no. That's wait, actually that's that, that's all. I'm not, a manager. Whoa, no. whoa. Okay, first off, we're not giving him any more money, so don't give him the manager title. Inventory controller is what his title is, okay. and then he Wait, has. I'm already hired. Shut up. Take take <laughs> take take the take the now now. Oh my God, Mask it's Shane! Oh, oh wow. look at that! Hey, oh Shane. look at that! People people oh, yeah. seeing him like a million times. That's fine. He's our longest tenure employee. B- facts. Wow. Speaking he facts, is so. right. Not continuous um, employee. It, I think he's been fired a couple times. He's he quit a couple times. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Somehow I always find my way back. You're like, uh, what? What is some like herpes? Whoa! Oh, whoa! Wow! <laughs> wow. <laughs> I was gonna make a sports reference, you know, but okay. Me, me too. No, I yeah, mean, I, for it. Yeah. No, yeah, you're like the. The herpes of Mojo Break. He's like, you know, no, no, no. You know, <laughs> hey, hey, wait, wait. Oh, he's the, the Lante West of Mojo Break. I, I was going to say. I like herpes. Uh, the Billy I mean, I don't like herpes, no. but like, do you I like my. <laughs> he is the Billy Martin of of Mojo Break. I like that, Cody. The classic, you, the classic press conference where George Steimer says, you know what? You're fired, Billy. And then uh, as he was introducing him to be rehired by the Yankees. He fired so him. He fired, fired him right on the spot. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I think that is Shane. He is the Billy Martin. See, of I can live with that. Billy Martin, mad respect for him. Why? Awesome dude, you know. That's all. He, he won, he won some. Picture. Shane's yeah. go-to with yeah. everything was like, oh, awesome. Right. Dude, man. One last pitch before I let you go. Right. So the, the viewers are going to decide if you are the next top breaker for Mojo Break. Give me, give me your pitch and why you should be there. Uh, just because you know, I'm simply, quite simply, I hate to brag or anything, but best, I'm the best employee here. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I, I think that I think that speaks for itself. Inventory is always right. <laughs> we, shipping things are on time. You know, I'm always in contact with FedEx, UPS. I always make sure they deliver it on time. In so, fact, so in you're fact, in contact in with people who off, actually do your job. Hundred percent. You know, <laughs> and. Uh, I'm just I'm I'm just the best there is, the best there was, <clears throat> the best there ever will be. Was that a is that a wrestling that quote? Was, that was Brett to Hitman Hart right there. Yeah. Well, See, now right. I'm getting points from Conrad. All right, right. With all due right. respect, uh, get the out of here. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I uh, love the fact like we're watching some. This what is this like episode? This is episode thirty. Episode thirty. <laughs> episode. <laughs> What's happening? No, no, I love I love episode thirty. So you have. For two, one, you two. guys are both wearing the same shirt. Do we you have, guys still own those? We have two cameras. Yes. yes. Yeah. We have two cameras. It and it should have been called Mojo Break Conrad in Space. <laughs> yeah. This is what it what it should have been. Because like it literally, like, why <laughs> why is Conrad look like he's in space? I love it. It's awesome. Um but we're my hair my hair my hair is dark at that point. <laughs> and that's awesome. And I like that. That was only five years ago. Uh 
What are you gonna say about yourself, Doug? You still got the same hat on. Same. No, that's that's a. I was was so much skinnier. San Francisco Giants hat. I was so much skinnier back then. I need to get back to that weight right there. Me too. Me too. I need to get some. I need to get some. You know what I gotta say, which we didn't even include in the show notes today, is on episode thirty we talked about Barry Bonds, and uh, I think there's been at least a hundred episodes of the hype out of the 300 that I talked about Barry Bonds. Are you saying one, on one third, Barry one Bonds third of them? Probably one like third that. of the episodes mentioned Barry Bonds. Yeah. I will say That's 99% episodes. of the episodes have a Bay area <laughs> reference. Well, yeah, without question that, but Barry Bonds, I don't know about it, but I don't Maybe know down a little bit. I just got a great idea here. This is get be, Barry Bonds is, on the podcast hard, for hardcore listeners of the hype. Find me an episode. Find us an episode where we don't mention the Bay Area, any Bay Area thing, at oh. all for the entire episode. Maybe impossible. And we will send you a sealed box of something. Oh, I like it. I impossible. Like impossible. Impossible. Dig to it. I I I, I no, want to say well, it's probably impossible. Yeah, the thing is, if somebody, because then we have to listen to it ourselves. There's yeah. Well, there, there's an episode <laughs> out there. I'm sure out of are you ready to are are you ready to scroll through 300 episodes to hey, find out if you're stuff? hardcore enough to do that you deserve a sealed box or something all right yeah. so let us let, go ahead and drop that in the Facebook group all right shall we uh, wrap things up guys it wouldn't be an episode of the hype 300th episode feels fitting 30th episode now once again don't even worry about that zero it's a it's we're wrapping things up oh god. <laughs> Well, good thing I got the dinosaur. Also, it wouldn't be also the fact that we were we're spilling things now again. It wouldn't be a celebrated celebratory episode if we didn't do it, <laughs> and it wouldn't be an episode if we didn't play around. Dude, I oh like, guess that, that was like thirty dollars I just spilled. That, that, that was like thirty price. bucks. Guess that price. I used to, I love the music that we used to play during the guess that price. Ooh, Remember we definitely we need to. to yeah. yeah, I think we need to bring some no, music back. Sing it. Yeah, we need to bring some Hum music it. back. Here's what we're going to do, guys. This is only going to be a three-rounder, three, rounder, chicka, three chicka, cards. Bow, wow. Here's what I'm going to do. <laughs> it's a special version of it. Basically, I'm going to give you three cards. And I, Do I have them on the slides? Yes. Give me the price that this card was it. in 2021 when we did episode 200, and give me the price now. You're gonna give me two prices mm. on each card. How do you determine a winner on that one? That kind of give me two prices wait, wait, on wait, each wait. card. And the, uh, and, the, and the last place has to take a shot. Yes. Sure. If you guys want to do that, knock yourselves out. Here we go. All right. We're gonna start things off. Conrad doesn't have any. He doesn't have in a big in way. His, in his glass. They're all big and boy Doug, cards Doug, too. I'm winning this one for sure. Doug, Doug's, Doug's glass is empty. Patrick Mahomes, 2017 hey, Donruss Optic PSA 10. PSA 10, what Patrick Mahomes, Don Russ Optic. What is worth now? So give me a 2021 price and give me a 2023 price. Oh, God. Oh, God. 2021 or 2020? Is it numbered? 2021. Is it numbered? Uh, no. It's just the base optic. PSA 10. Twenty twenty one and twenty twenty three. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. All right. I don't know. All right. <laughs> Ready? All right. Here we go. Uh, Conrad is gonna start. Twenty twenty one price four thousand. Twenty twenty three price two point five. Oh my god. Uh twenty one price seventy five hundred. <laughs> 23 price, 2200. Well, oh, how drunk are you guys? <laughs> um, Jesus. Um, do I work with these guys or are these real real people? Um, 2021, 2500 and 2023, $700. 700 for a patty? All right. Gem mint. I guess we'll give a point for each one. Okay. I feel like that's the fair way yeah, to do it's it. Like we're doing six. Yeah. yeah. Like doing so six whoever points. gets the 21 one gets a point. Whoever gets the 23 one gets a point. All right. Okay. Give me two points then. Cool. Actual price, 2021. That sold for seventeen hundred seventy-seven dollars, which I think that gives it to Doug. I'm off. Damn it, dude. I'm off. And twenty twenty-three, it sold for one thousand eighty dollars and fifty cents, which uh, that might. Ooh, it's real close. I think I might give it to Dan. What? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Like, I have I'm twenty. Have I have twenty-two hundred. Now he's out. Oh, uh, let's see. And seven hundred for Doug. Yep. Yeah. Twenty-two hundred. 
Mark minus Andrews. Minus what? What was it? So uh, if say Doug wins the whole thing, how do we get to determine who's the losers to take the shot? Well, you guys both take a shot now. No, yeah, it's yeah, Doug. It's Doug. Clearly. All right, so Doug, Doug swept that first round. I'm not gonna take the full. I'm not Doug's take got two. Doug's got two. <laughs> All right. Take a shot at the end. No, we take it for each round. Oh, bro. But I'm not. I'm not gonna drink the whole thing now. Yeah, no, just take a sip. It. Come on, no. Sip it. All right. All right. Next up, Giannis. And remember, this isn't just 2021. His last name is Antetokounmpo. That's right. Uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo. <laughs> Uh, and again, this isn't just 2021 craziness in the hobby and uh, the peak of the hobby. This man also won in e the, the NBA Finals in 2021. So there was a lot of hype around Giannis. Uh, give me your 2021 price and your 2023 price. You might notice a trend here, listener at home or viewer. Champions. That and the prices itself. Okay. There might be a trend here. All right. Winner goes first. Uh, we'll do 2021 3000 and 2023 1100. All right. It's probably 20, too high. 2021 honestly. 6K, 2023 2.5K again. All right. 21 8200 and 23 1250. It's a base, guys. It's not silver. 1250. It's the base. It is the base. 1250. Right, All right. 8200, 1250. All right. Actual price. Too easy. I think Doug got it again. Uh, 2088 for the base PSA 10. Giannis Prism, rookie. Uh, and 2023 price, $870. $870, which right, I think it's another clean sweep for Doug. It, That's a clean sweep for Doug. Good Lord. It, he, he's out. It's not a clean sweep. Eh, pretty much. I mean, still got one more. We got one more. We got one more. Man, Doug is on the pulse. And just to clarify, we did not talk about this beforehand. No. It's just, you know, I'm not. a student in the game. No, not. I mean, 13 just, years in, I still study just prices. To, just to basically say that Doug is the one who probably came up with these cards. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Last one. This was a big boy. Uh, first Bowman uh, Chrome Auto. Michael Trout. BGS 9.510. Mike Trout out of 09 Bowman Chrome Draft. Uh, give me your 2023 or 2021 and your 2023 price. All right. Pencils down or uh, pen right. down, I guess. All right, 20, Doug. 2021 price $12,000. 2023 price $4,500. 2021, $27,000. 2023, $10,000. 21. Fifteen thousand five hundred dollars, and today seventy seven hundred. All right, actual price. This sold uh, in June of twenty twenty one, twenty five thousand. Let's go. Uh, twenty five point three. No. Let's go. Three, three, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Man, C Rag got that one. $25,000. That's insane. I thought 15 was right. Today, right actually insane here. $7,200. Dan gets that one. Man, he was really close. Went easy on you guys. So Doug there you go. Well, Doug, I mean, there is one thing I do know is I know the Mike Trout market yeah. today. I did have one, uh, the only outlier here, but uh, I didn't include it because you guys just got graded from the National that show, hey. Uh, Bowman Chrome Auto. Uh, I didn't include it because I thought eh, they're probably doing some research on that one. Uh, any guesses on what that sold for in 2021? I think I told you beforehand what it sells for now. Fifteen hundred dollars. Uh, in 2021, fifteen hundred. Uh, a PSA ten. PSA ten, and again, it's the base Chrome Auto. Of he was, remember, he was hurt. Sold for twenty now. Twenty one though was the MVP season. In the midst of the MVP season. Yeah, I'm gonna go, uh, go 20, 2800 eight hundred. Let's go thirty. 30. 30k? Wait, how much was the <laughs> PSA 10 that sold now? It was like 20,000, you said, right? It was 20k now, yes. Now. Yes. Yeah. Well, let's go 30k. Okay. You think it's more? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the trend with all these other cards. I I, I get that. Uh, but no, Shoei is the no. one outlier. Back then, August uh, August 1st of 2021, 
It sold for six thousand four hundred and eighty-eight dollars. So you're up massively if you were buying Sohei in twenty twenty-one. Yep. And today yeah. it sells for twenty thousand dollars. And, and, so and we were selling. Yeah. So let me. Okay. So you have a lot of. You have a. Uh, before we head off, you have a lot of content creators out there that tell you when to buy, when to sell. If you want to be successful, and quote unquote investing in this industry, whatever. Doug or myself say to do or what we've done, go opposite. <laughs> well, we don't because, actually tell because, people because but we no, know no, but, to tell but if that, you so. if you have an insight on what we do, if you ever know like, hey, Doug and Dan just sold this card, go buy. Go buy. Because we never get it right. We never do. But that's we, ha, you, but have we have we ever gotten it right? We haven't, but that's why we don't have like a show that's about investments. I know, because, I know, but it would be I'm bad. saying if it's a it's a small community. If you are in our small community that hears of us buying or selling a card, play the opposite day, because you will you'll win a hundred percent of the well, time. Well, and that's the thing. It's like it, you're gonna win on five percent to ten percent of these guys. Unless so you're to, doing the opposite of what we're doing, you'll win a hundred percent of the time. True. But we, yeah, we don't, we don't a lot of them, but none of them. No, I mean, never uh, won. But that's you why you know we, how we, Levar Ball's like never lost when it comes won. to us prospecting cards. Never won. Never won. <laughs> never won. <laughs> but the funny thing is, is we had a lot never of good won. show eight cards too that we sold. We did, we did, we sold some big ones at quite possibly the worst times. Yeah, well, I mean, he got hurt and you didn't think he was gonna. Yeah. yeah, and I was always a fan. I was always, I was always pro show. Hey, I wanted to. Just hold on to him, but you guys keep we, a lot of other guys. But too, yeah, right? Sean, Sean Mannion. We we Sean Mannion. We hold him. Uh, Ryan Mountcastle. Josh. We should have had a whole Sean Mannion. Uh, Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray. I've oh, been holding diamond hands when it comes to Kyler. Paper hands when it comes to Shohei. It's terrible. But I wanted to end this episode by saying I appreciate you guys. The outpouring support that we get when we go to the national, when we have our party, uh, when we're on. Any of the lives that you guys all listen to the podcast, that means a lot to us, and that's why we could keep doing what we're doing here at the hype. Uh, week yeah, in and week out, you know, it makes uh, uh, make us feel warm and fuzzy inside. And um, you know, we're gonna continue on to episode four hundred, episode yep. five hundred. Yep. As long as we're still going, we're gonna still keep going yep. on this podcast. So keep uh, on, keep you it know, on. Pat yourselves on the backs for li- for listening to us uh, day in and day out, or week in week out. And um, you know, here's to four hundred. Cheers, guys, on cheers. 400. Cheers, cheers, cheers. 500. And uh, we will have that special cheers, giveaway. Cheers, Rodeo. Special giveaway on the uh, Fanatics. Uh, or uh, Fanatics, jeez. We are doing a Fanatics Live tomorrow, which we are giving away stuff. But we will be having a Facebook giveaway on the group for uh, the hype. So check that out you as just, well. You yep. just, you just and let me it. tell you about our, our new um, – hey, let me tell you about our new partnership with Manscaped. <laughs> <laughs> you know, trim your balls. <laughs> Never lost. Dude, if we uh if if we basically were three hundred episodes in, we're like we finally landed la- like Manscaped. <laughs> like we're like we probably we any sponsors. We finally got it. Take a look. Uh, Adam, Adam and Eve, if you wanna go no, <laughs> if you wanna get your uh, no no. Just kidding. We sold Flashlight? Out. Uh yeah. Flashlight. Yeah, okay. Flashlight was going around for a while. <laughs> blue 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 pills. Yeah. Rhinos. Blue uh blue uh chips. What are they called? Brought to you by Alpha Brain. Alpha Brain in the house. Uh, all right, guys. Well, or, or Squarespace. No. Uh, <laughs> so we're good at reading if you guys do want to contact us. But uh, you guys, appreciate you guys. Follow us at Mojo Break. That's a whole lot of free advertising and that we Twitter, just gave yeah, there at the end. Was, with all, all the podcast networks. Handing it out. Uh, but, yeah, follow us at Mojo Break underscore com on Twitter and Instagram. Make sure you guys contribute to the Facebook group as well. And uh, we'll see you guys on the feed. We're doing Finax Live. National Treasures dropping tomorrow, not only on our own website, mojobreak.com. So get in the breaks with C Rad on mojobreak.com. We've got lots of great deals, great randoms. Pick your team breaks. Uh, you guys are probably going to be listening to this in the morning, but we're going to be doing it all throughout the weekend as well. And uh, we'll see you guys on 301, baby. Peace. Mm-hmm.